It's Tuesday. Grab a cold steak and put it on your balls. No, I'm just kidding. What's going on, everybody? How, you get bruised. You put them on your balls. You fall down. You hurt yourself. You put them on your balls. But that's not today. Hashtag put them on your balls. What's going on, everybody? The whole steak? The whole steak. The frozen the, steak. The cold wrapped. steak. Didn't you ever see Look the, at you. The mild man coming in hot. Oh, yeah. But the mild man. Do you know whose glasses those are? Who? Mild man. Got, Popos. Oh, yeah. Popos. You're wearing a 93-year-old man's glasses. They, they are filthy. I'm, I'm you, you, you look like a, like a uh, character in, uh, in Casino. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Ooh. That's that's always been a dream scenario is to be 93 and just live just, in the dream. You do whatever you want. Correct. You, wear the, he, you already wear the pink <laughs> shirts. You'll be fun. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Uh, Mark Riley is here. Yeah, hi. Josh McCuga, obviously, and Roxy Stryer. You are right, my friend. I saw... I saw the which death. friend? Let me finish the sentence. Well, which friend's right? Well, you'll, you'll hear it at the end of the I sentence. I just wanted to be told that I was right. <laughs> well, you're, like, it wasn't me. It's like, it's it's jumping the gun. This is a spoiler. Okay? It's not me. You were right, my friend. The no. mild man did die this weekend. Uh, <laughs> I watched it happen. I watched it happen many times, looked over, and there was just countless amounts of, you know, shooting yes. one back and, uh-huh. and then firing one down, meaning yeah. you had food. Yeah, you oh, were crushing man. food. Fo- I, you know, I get to New York and it's old school, <laughs> yeah. Josh. I get in there every place I go. You're 125 has good pizza. pounds when you went there. Uh, You're 230. 235. Right now. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> the the amount of pizza that I consumed everywhere I went, I knew where my old pizza places right. were, and I was suggesting bars and restaurants to be like, so if we go to that bar, the pizza place across the street, you can bring the, the pizza in there. All that kind I of stuff. I should have been with you more. Yeah, uh, I, you were. I, I didn't step up my pizza game as much as I wanted to because last trip I was. Furious. Yes. And you, you told me about like this, you, you can tell the story. It was funny. So when we were there two years ago for Complex Con, um, the Christian, we get to the oh, hotel oh. that night, and Christian's like, "I'm going out to get pizza. I'm taking you guys to a good pizza and place." It was too late. I'm on LA time, yeah. thinking that it's it, we're and good it to go. Like and everything. A, it, it was, was like a Tuesday night, at was, like at like one in the morning. Oh uh, yeah, right. And everything is closed. Yeah. They, they say New York's a city that never sleeps. Well, part of it's not sleeps. pizza like, place. Not yeah. good pizza place. Yeah, they they don't they they. Sleep. Yeah. They have to. You because know, they want the, the pizza morning. to be good. Correct. The crappy ones are open. So I didn't go. I didn't go on this journey. But Christian comes because back. you knew. No, because it, it was late. We were at the yeah. bar and whatever. Christian took like a handful of of colliderins, and he comes back and the pizza was so bad and there was this trash can outside the hotel and he goes, "This is." Bullshit! And just thro- <laughs> throws a pizza so hard because he was so excited to have New York pizza. It was terrible pizza, and he convinced all these people that, that New York had the best pizza. Right. And it was it was trash. It, it, it was, was like trash. something you get. It's like like those dollar slices. Yeah, it was awful. Some it of the street dollar slices are the best though. No. I lived off that shit. This <laughs> Did, the dollar I slices. So many dollar slices. I yeah, had like the, nine of them throughout the week. But, but you so, don't have a standard when it comes to pizza. So, no, I'll right. eat anything. Right. <laughs> we left that after party of the after party uh, over oh. in Chelsea and. And uh, Cobster, Cody, myself, Ken, and Kalinowski? Sure. Yes, Kalinowski and yeah. Chance. And Chance. And we all walked up to Times Square. And on the way, there was a Joe's, like, just outside yes. Times Square. Ugh. So we bought a whole pizza. Uh, Cobster, myself, and Cody crushed it. And then I was still a little hungry, so I got 20 McNuggets and a double I heard bread. about that. I heard Wait, what time was Joe's open? Well, Copster, was it about one? No, Copster's not in there. Uh, Cody here. Cody. It was about 3 a.m. Oh. And Joe's was <laughs> open? <laughs> it was 2 or 3 in the morning. And you lost, like, hours off your life. Yes. Yeah, you know what? The only reason I didn't go out with you guys, that that crew afterwards, is because, well, All you can do still. well, you can do this thing. Some, some Dan Merle had come up to me. He's like, you know, we were talking about it, and uh, we were thinking most likely to miss the flight in the morning would be Makuga. <laughs> and I said, actually, no. Yeah. I mean, there's something that he does. He can, he can drink till 4, and his flight could be at 5.15. Yeah. He'll make it. Yeah. He's not one of those guys. Like I have well, friends. Well, your flight's at five fifteen. Drinking to four actually isn't a bad but idea. I'm saying, drinking to two is the bad idea. I'm saying four o'clock though, and you, then you go home to try to take a nap oh, at the you, hotel. Oh, you try to nap? No, no. So like, we had to leave the hotel about seven. Right. Right. I was up at six fifteen, showered, that, clothes on. That's what I mean. No, no, no. So not a lot of people can do that. I certainly cannot do that. And on Friday night after the show, we kept going out and out and out, and we closed down the bar in Little Italy. But I did that too on on Friday on night Friday because night. I knew Saturday I could I could get everything together then go. And I was still right. hurt a little bit, yeah. but it was that night. Uh, but, but then on fr- on Saturday, Saturday morning, night, yeah. But, so Friday night we were out till four. The Baldinos hung out with us. And right. It was it was a Did blast. Did they come to the show? Yeah. Oh, Who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jake, Baldino. Uh, Jake Baldino and his wife. Yeah. Awesome people. Why were kind you guys funny. together Not more? Kind of I'm, I'm uh, confused. Would you, well, the, Christian had a lot of his New York friends, and but still, like you, it's hard to roam with that many marauding people. Like you kind of all split yeah, up. Yeah, well, but it's also but so the event ended at I think like eleven o'clock. Yeah. Then we went out after Jen Sturger had gotten us a, a really nice uh, table. And you didn't go? No, oh, no, did. I went. You oh. went to this one. So Everybody, it sounds like you guys hung out a ton. We, yeah, did. we did, but I'm just saying oh. at the that <laughs> the end of it, we had like restaurant food and it was really good. It hung out. People were drinking, and having just talking about how great the event. Was 
And then at the end of the Can night, like two thirty next time, two thirty or so, it was like two thirty AM, that's when the pockets start to maybe even closer to three. The that's when the thing. pockets start to go and yeah. move. So it's just like you either you know how it goes when you have a nice yeah. also either gravitate. Or, we should have called it a night. Right. But. And that's what I did. And yeah. I said because I just know myself like even it was tough for me getting up when I did. Yeah. Uh, I was like I needed to be in the lobby by seven fifteen and that was like tough. Um, but I was on a train to New on Saturday morning. I was out Friday night I was out to about four. Woke up and it was on a train at eight eleven to New Jersey. That's so I, I slept about three and a half hours. Yeah. Got on a see, train to Jersey, see, and, and that's what I mean. So that's yeah. why you went to Jersey. Yeah, my cousins live in Jersey, so right. I went to see them. I, oh. I, I texted yeah. them on the morning. I was like, uh, "So you still planning on going to Jersey? I'm currently in New Jersey." <laughs> yeah, that's what I got. yeah. So. so then got the train back and made it. You know, back in time for the show Saturday night. It was a whirlwind weekend. I mean, I was pretty much up for ah! eight hours. Bless you. <laughs> yes, that was my body's reaction yesterday <laughs> to the amount of abuse it took over a Friday and Saturday. It feels that's good to get it out. Yeah. Not <laughs> living in New York, like it's so good to visit it is because you can do that you yeah. can do that weekend thing right. and then come back here and remember that nobody here goes out past 11 no. p.m <laughs> right. and like just chill for a while and then go to new york when you want that yeah. we you cannot live that life here no no, no it doesn't no, no, exist no. here no and plus the fact that's why i moved from new york right. well you yeah. also remember that yeah. we're everybody too is like this big you just you, the second you got there is boom we're on we knew yep. it was that's why I said yesterday it was kind of like a WrestleMania weekend because yeah. you just knew the big event was going to happen there's little side of things that were happening beforehand Ellis's and their comedy show and I, I told yeah. them yesterday and yeah you got you and Ken were so good thanks man it was good that but, was uh, a blast. what do you guys do to get to from JFK to the city we Ubered. Yeah, that and I Ubered. Uh, Ken, it's like Ken was smarter. Eighty he, bucks it, to Uber. It, yeah. was, it was more expensive. The, the cab was fifty. Yeah, and I and I thought That's about that. That's what I hear. You you had you do the cabs. From the airport because it's yeah. a fixed price. Uber it's around. pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's that's probably the that's the idea next time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, speaking of which, next time. So I wanted Can to. I I, I, yeah. Hold on. Also, I, I got to remind me after the show. I have something to to. What's happening? Nothing. Oh, so, those are the signs yeah, that the yeah, little yeah, girls yeah, made. Yes. Thank you for the reveal. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sorry. Um, so <laughs> that you pulled the rocks. Yeah. Yeah. That one. When we were there, <laughs> when we were there, this family came, the Mar Marianos, and they came to the awesome uh, people. Yeah, the, so cool. They came to the live event, and they they the little girls. I think there was they were, and I'm probably gonna mess up their ages, but they were, I think there were seven and five, or I think long? it was like six and eight. Six More and like eight. I think probably I close. closer close. to right. a little older than that. Nine? Yeah. Yeah. It could have been. No, they weren't. Nine. No, it wasn't the ninth one. They were younger eighth. looking. It, yeah. Well, it was. Yeah. The, it was it, no, they're not in eighth grade. I think one. Eighth. No. Eighth nine. birthday. Nine. No, okay. Just, ninth. Just forget about it. So. Um, <laughs> thank you. They made. When a goldfish here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just chaos ensues the studio. I right. know, but you were here yesterday, you know. I that? was here. I, I actually hosted the show. Right. Yeah. So what? Are you waiting for Cougs for this or for this? I don't know what's happening. Take it easy. I can't. I don't know how. <laughs> I'm in New York. Yeah. All right. So the, this this right uh, here. This was one of the signs oh that they God. that they made. They made all these signs. I thought they were going to keep it because no, they, they made me it. sign it. Yeah. And then I they well, put it down. Yeah. Look and pick up the I, remote. Makuk is a yeah. big Makuk is a big softy, and yeah. he was on stage, wow. and like he, he, it was hard for you to keep it together. Man, I was like, there was there was four kids in the crowd. Yeah. There was this little kid named Erwin Grayson. And Merle. Wait, hold it up. Sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah. Maybe Here, we'll this one, Roxy. Wow. Roxy, this this one's amazing. This one's my favorite. I'm gonna, I, well, no, a bunch no. of these I'm gonna put, I'm gonna frame. Gonna yeah, them. and we're gonna wow, put them up in the this studio. Is so cool. Yeah, they did awesome. And these little yeah, but look at the top. So look cute. at the top left, Roxy. I'm gonna, yeah, look I'm gonna show the people. Yeah, in a look at the top of my head. <laughs> when I go, you see, yeah, yeah. it's a, a squirrel. it's a squirrel and a finstock mask. <laughs> finstock mask saying when a goldfish. That is yeah, so that's cool. that's going. And then of course Ellis on the bottom. I'll be appearing at the Pub Rock Theater with Ken Napsok and Josh McCoogan. <laughs> what happens when you guys drop the f bomb? Well, that was one of that the things. funnier things that happened. Oh, in damn it! Shut the no, fuck hey, up. Oh, thank you, Roger. Yeah. <laughs> so so we were uh, the 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 pre show turned out really well. Uh, Brad and Frank crushed it. I went out there for about the like uh, the last half hour and the. You know, we had done the meet and greet before, and everybody was awesome. And so there was a little kid named Grayson who was like yes. probably twelve. There was there, there were tons of kids. Yeah, uh, there was a little girl named Hayden. They were yeah. all in the meet and greet though. And then the two yes. little girls, I think it was Kara and ah oh, man, I'm I'm so bummed I forgot the one of those names. No, no. It wasn't Ben. No, <laughs> there were two little girls, and they were Jeremy. so cute. And Jeffrey, girls. So they had asked Brian. a bunch of Schmodown questions, and then I went. 
and and I like had them stand up and answer a couple of questions and like you know threw them the shirts and stuff and they were so excited. I yeah. mean, and the crowd was chanting their names and it was it was and awesome. Those, those little were... kids, Hayden and Grayson, <laughs> and so uh, and they named him Grayson after Dick Grayson after right. after Robin. Oh, that's so which cool. Which is cool. So um, so after the show, we did like you know a second uh, Q and A and all right, that stuff, right. and I came up on stage and like I just I, I got uh, verklempt a little bit because I was so well, excited. It was, it was adorable. Yeah, he, was, he started. Yeah, he was. He was because breaking they gave you those signs. It just, yeah, it was just, just like, you, you just should have seen. I mean, of course, being a dad too, you have these these girls who are just like they were big fans. Yeah, but is this an answer to the swearing question? No, no, because no, oh. I said an F word and I looked at Hayden and then her mom and I was like, I'm so sorry. And they go, ah, we don't care. Right. And I was like, okay, great. Well, there you go. Yeah. Um, but what I wanted Good to so the Mariano's, I believe, and I, I, John Mariano, who's the uh, who is the is the dad, and he had told me that they were coming. I want to do something. So next time, I hope they're listening. I think they yeah. listen. They said they listen a lot. Yeah. Obviously, winter goldfish here. <laughs> um, next time that we are in New York, I'm gonna have the Mariano whole family as my guests and get them the VIP treatment. Yeah, oh, get them in there. And have so them. nice. So, These two little, you're Ellen DeGeneres. I want the whole yeah. the whole the whole family will will get so front row sweet. seats. Those little girls get said. It for free. The little girl said, "We love you, wild man." I almost fainted. I was like, "It was the cutest oh, thing." Yeah, yeah. Well, the whole all of us fell in love with them. Yeah. But um, yeah. oh all right. God. So other things I want to get into here too. This is a, this is only because of the excitement level that I know it's going to get from a couple people in here, and it's not guaranteed. Yeah, things fall apart all of the time. But I, you're but saying this now. I am going to say it because I think it's going to be a good conversation. That's that's why. So um, huh. we're going to have a guest on the show. Just, I don't think this is where nope. we're going. Nope. Yeah, you thought we were going somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. Um, but. Jean Claude Van Damme is potentially going to be a guest next week. Van Damme is coming in July. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Jo- Josh, <laughs> wait a minute! Nobody even saw what happened. No, nobody saw the best part of all of that. What was it? Oh my God! That was Jack. Uh, no. Oh, fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! I what hope. Just I, <laughs> I wish. I hope that somebody caught that through that camera. <laughs> Thad's face. Oh my God! It was incredible. He looked over the side like someone just took a shit in the room, <laughs> and he turned around to the side and he just gave this face. And you were screaming. He didn't move an, a, a, a muscle in his face and just kind of. Went <laughs> And back around. Oh, it was brilliant. There, oh, was, it was, so funny. there was one man that defines my childhood, and that is Jean Claude Van Damme. Yeah, Jean Claude Van Damme. Jean Claude Van Damme coming into the studio. And Ellis, I called him immediately, and I go, dude, you got to be here. Yes. You got to be here. And we started talking about. Um, We're the only two people I know that quote the movie Hard Target a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, like that movie. Yeah. So it's so right now, it's, it's that is the potential guest. It was, it was told to me he was going to be in Not here. Not for this week. For no, next, next week, week, I think. Yeah, we're just waiting to, f- to find out for sure. But having him in here, that's going to be fun. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. I, I, I have too. solely friends questions. All of my <laughs> sure. questions that's are fine. friends I questions. think you'll have a lot more once you start to talk to him. He's pretty fascinating, yeah. too. Talk to me about Jennifer Aniston. What, did, the day? No, no. I know the thing in the, in the, that happened in the care. show. It's that's all you care about. Yeah. Well, he's awesome. He's absolutely awesome. I have other yeah. things, but anybody who's worked that closely with Courtney Cox and Jennifer Aniston, are you kidding me? Well, then, <laughs> did you get excited when Bonnie was in here? When was I here when Bonnie was in here? I thought you you been Don't here you know Bonnie? Bonnie? Bonnie Somerville? You, you know who Bonnie? Bonnie? Do you know who Bonnie Somerville is? Of course I know oh, who okay. she is. Mona? I thought you, I thought, yeah. I thought never you, met you've Bonnie. never met her before? I don't think so. When she played Janine, you were in here? I don't think so. No. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I got to introduce you. I didn't yeah. realize you were that big of a Friends fan. I knew you. Were, I knew you were a fan of the show, but I didn't realize you were like that diehard of, of, yeah. of oh a fan. Oh my god! All right, well, all right. Oh my god. sorry, I don't even know you. It's really rude. I apologize. Hey, Bob, dedicated my whole life to it. Yeah, we almost had it, Cody. We almost had it. Um, I love the pictures I'm getting for that thing. Yeah, oh, you got. You're starting to get some. Oh, I got a picture. Somebody play it again. Um, we when got, it goldfish, man. Yeah. When it goldfish, so it's a yeah. picture that some guy did of Finstock. And I posted it on my Instagram. It is, you, yeah. Oh, oh, I saw that last night. This. That's really, really good. Did yeah. you see this? Yeah. No. It's like oh. Finding Dory. It's it is like so show it warped. To the people. It's amazing. I show it to the people. Well, they can go on my Instagram. Just go to the Instagram. Yeah. It's it's got a, it's, it's great. It's like an old time like carnival with Finstock's face, but it's got goldfish coming out of his it's ears. Amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. When a goldfish. Yeah. Do you guys solely call him yeah. Finstock? <laughs> I don't think I've called him anything but Finstock. Yeah. Ever. Me ever. neither. Or. Like anytime I get serious, I'm like, Bob, 
you yeah. know. Well, uh, but, but never Tom. Like, Tom. But you know, what's yeah. so funny Tom. is that everybody looks at that picture in the back over there, and they say, "Oh, that's just a normal pi- picture." That's bef- way before he was Finstock. Yes. Can, was, you, can you tell me the inception of how it came to be? Yeah. yeah. So, um, I actually, just have know, never questioned it. No, it's fine. Cody, story. Yeah. bring up, uh, bring up Bobby Finstock, Team Wolf. Um, right, second. So. Like the CW show? No, 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 no. But but, but that's <laughs> no. But that he's all Finstock's also in that show, but not our Finstock, the character of Bobby Finstock. So anyway, Bobby Finstock is an actual movie character yes. from Team. So t- Dagny, yeah, it's that, yes, it's that it first. Is. Yes. Yeah, it is. Hold on, no. it's that 100%. first one. But don't play it yet. I want to. I want to kind of set it up. So anyway, we were. Uh, I've known Tom since like two thousand and two, two thousand three. He's a buddy. Uh, my my friend Mike, the, who I went to college with. He was really good friends with Tom, and then Tom came out here to move. I'm, I'm telling you, this is the, the total truth. truth. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, is Teen Wolf a thing other than a CW show? Le, le, what? what Teen Wolf happen? is one of the greatest movies. The Michael ever. J. I think you need Michael to open J. the door and Ooh. scream again. No, don't. You've seen Michael J. Fox <laughs> in I Teen Wolf, but you've never seen the movie Teen Wolf. I didn't even that's know it a was wa- a movie. Oh Style. That's a wa- <laughs> yeah, don't walk out. Ooh. That's a that's a watch along part. But yeah. right. wait, what is the movie? I'm gonna tell you. It's the same. How do you how do you think that the show is there basketball on the CW show? No, the CW show. No, it's the, I thought it was MTV. All, I was gonna say it's MTV. Sorry, it's MTV. Right. It's MTV. Second of all, it's just it's right like network. it's a one, very guys. heavy. It's like Riverdale meets people that are wolves. But is it, that what but the movie's it is, about? But it is based off. No, no. It's, ba- it's based off. It's, it's a it's comedy. Off, well, anyway, so listen. Let me just finish the story and then I'll show you the scene, Roxy. Um, so anyway. Tom came out here, met him in like 2002, um, and we just became buddies for a while. That picture, now we used to call him because he said, you, you know him and the insane shit that he says, yeah. right? It's like pure nonsense. And we always said, you know, you remind me of the coach in Teen Wolf, Bobby Finstock. My friend Pont started calling him Bobby Finstock. Mm-hmm. And so we it just kind of stuck for a little bit in our little circle of like five, six friends. That's Michael J. Fox's character? No. No. Oh. Let me finish the goddamn story. <laughs> I don't know and then how. I'll tell you. And then know. I'll tell you. Please. I'm sorry. And so, this is literally like you're trying to make a dinner and she just keeps throwing ingredients that don't right. get in the dinner. Put some cheese in there. There's it's wine. No cheese. It's she wine. No cheese. cheese. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm gonna say I would never say that. I'm gonna say that <laughs> I'm gonna say that you would say oh that. Oh my god. I love friends. I hate cheese. <laughs> <laughs> you, maybe if you let me finish my stories, right. dear. Okay. Um okay. <laughs> anyway, so that happens. We're calling him Bobby Finstock in our little circle of friends. <laughs> and one day in like 2006, he comes over and he goes, I gotta show you something. I go, what? He's like, take a look at this. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm like, what do you got? He's like, it's a Hungarian beard mask. <laughs> and he's got the mask. And he said, my dad had just gone to Europe. And I go, that's amazing. I was like, I was like, it fits you perfect. Like, and so I was like, oh, take them. My dad got me one of those like uh, European like letter openers, right? So I said, put that stupid thing on your face, and take a picture. So he's holding in the back there. He's holding the the letter opener with the beard mask on, and that was two thousand and like six. And I always had that picture. So fast forward to like two thousand and twelve, and then we're doing the Schmoes No Show, and nobody Riley hadn't met him. Makuga doesn't know. Nobody knows him. So I said, dude, what I want you to do is come to the Schmo show and put the mask on and just wander around in the background. Don't say a word. So he's just, you can go back and watch this episode too, and he's, and he's pacing back and forth, and people are in the comments, it's like, who's the, what's the beard? What's going on with the beard? What's happening? And he shows up and starts saying Bobby Finstock-isms, and it takes a little bit to get used to him. Man, Ellis did not like him at no, first. Oh, oh. The Ken, Ken and, and, uh, uh, yeah. and They're Ellis over it. cornered me at the end of the first show and said, you cannot have this person on the show. He will sink the entire show. He's like, you can't, you can't do it. And I said, wait. I said, just wait. He's gonna come back on, and they're gonna love him, and because they hated him the first episode, yeah, they didn't yeah. know what to make of him. Murder. The fans too. Everyone. Oh, yeah. Everyone. They didn't, they didn't know what to make of him. I wasn't was on <clears throat> one of the only early Schmoes episodes I ever missed. I wasn't on by that Finstock's first episode. And so then, yeah. so then, the, then the second time he's on, and they loved him. They were saying Bobby Finstock for president, all this stuff. And so anyway, this is where. This is where the comparison comes from. Is this scene? Is this to be? You can go, is that right where it starts? Yeah, let's just go yeah. for the scene. We can we can hear the scene. That's fine. Turn it up. Hey, Scotty. Perfect. Come on in. Now imagine Finstock in this Great position. Great game out the coach. here today. You want a thigh or a wing or something? <laughs> no, it's not necessary, coach. <laughs> Listen, you know you know how you always said that if any of us guys have any problems, I mean even personal ones, that we should come see you. Hey, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> Great, because. Uh, Got a problem. Oh yeah? What kind of problem? 
As you can see, I'm a very busy man. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, it's, it's kind of complicated. Oh, no, oh, those kind of problems, yeah. What is it, drugs? Girls? Boy, I'd sure like to help you, but I'm really tapped out this month. The IRS is breathing down my neck like it's some kind of personal vendetta against Bobby Finstock. No, coach. <laughs> yeah, I put this? there it is. I'm going through changes. Jesus. Oh, that, don't worry about that. We all go through that. Some a little bit later than others. I'm sorry I didn't notice, but I haven't been hanging around the locker room all that much. <laughs> no. You see, Coach, I, I just don't think it's going to be possible for me to play on the team anymore. Is he a wolf? Yeah, he'll yeah. become a wolf. Well, look, uh, Scotty, I know what you're going through. A couple years back, a kid came to me much the same way you're coming to me now, saying to me pretty much the same thing that you're saying. He wanted to drop off the team. His mother was uh, a widow, all crippled up. She was scrubbing the floor. She had, uh, had this pin in her hip. So he wanted to drop basketball and get a job. What? Now, these were poor people. These were, these were hungry people with real problems. You understand what I'm saying? What happened to the kid? I don't know. He quit. It's a third stringer. I didn't know. <laughs> I want to watch this movie yeah, right. next. Yeah. This first Little time. Bobby Finstock. Yeah. Finstock. Yeah. You, yeah. That, that's blowing your mind right now, huh? Yeah. That's, where, that's, real that's, where, that's where it comes yeah. from. Did you guys just make that movie? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I, I shot wish. and edited it this morning. Yeah, the IRS is breathing down my neck. My mom always happened. used to say when I was a kid, and she didn't know the character's name, but anytime I chew gum, she's like, quit chewing gum like that wolf movie. Like, yeah, because she knows that scene. Yeah, well, it just became. What year is that movie? 85. Yeah, 85, 86. I was not around. No, I know. Yeah. I thought about that yesterday when I was talking because we, we had oh so that's what I want to tell you Samantha uh, called in yesterday you missed Samantha no way. so we talked to her and I was talking talk about her when I was like oh my god when I was in the eighth grade with Samantha you were not even born yet I was in, not even mm -hmm. in the womb which is crazy oh, and yeah, I was like I was like my co-host isn't isn't here yet. She has not been creative. They have not done not the deeds I got, to, I got to meet this guy, Savarese, in New John York. John uh, He's the best. He, yeah, he's awesome. He's the best. Who I, I look like as a kid, but as now a kid, we look very different. Very different. He's yeah. just, yeah, he's like a, he's like a bodybuilder now. Yeah, he's, yeah, but he's, he's pretty he's, he's, he's awesome. He's a good dude. Been a very close friend of mine for a very long time. And, and I talked about it, I think. I don't remember where, but uh, Fuel for Fit is his. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here you talked oh, about this yesterday. Did you talk about yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been well. In Florida, blood. right? Yeah, yeah. So he does check out check him out on Instagram. Feel for fit. Um, but yeah, so as kids, him and Makuga looked exactly alike. He made me pull a picture of myself as a kid and then show him to all of the New York friends. They were all like, "Oh my god!" I, well, I did a I did a trick. I said not a trick. I did a, a quiz and I said, um, "Who does this look like?" And I sent a picture of you yeah. and everyone writes back, "Severy, Severy, Severy." And they're like, "Wait, that's not Severy." It was funny, but anyway, yeah. he was there. He was there. Um, and yeah, so we it, it was. <laughs> Was awesome. All the all of his New York buddies are. It's just. It's so New York. You know, like I'm in line at I'm in line at Prince Street Pizza, right? And I've been I've been like jonesing to go there since I started following my Instagram like two and a half years ago. And every yeah. time I've been in New York in between there, I just couldn't get downtown, right? So, I go to Prince Street Pizza and I'm standing in line. It's freezing outside and there's two guys in front of me and they both have like some kind of elevator company on their jacket, right? And it's like. I mean, so, you know, he goes up three floors, you know, and, like, he just dropped the elevator. You believe it? I mean, these stupid fucking guys. I come in on Wednesday. I come in on Thursday. I come in on Friday. I don't mess up. They come in on Saturday, Sunday, mess up the whole thing, and now here we are. I got to come back and take care of all of it. I got to talk to Johnny up on 48. I got to come all the way down to Canal. And they're, like, they're going through this whole thing, and they're both yelling at each other. And I couldn't take a video. And did you hear Van Damme's going to be yeah, on the show next week? Yeah. You listen to Collider Live, he's on Van Damme. Give a fucking split. You go into Prince Street Pizza, right? And on the wall, it's, you know, they, it's one of those places where they came in, they oh, signed it, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously the largest picture, it's like this whole thing. De Everything's about this thing. No, James Gandolfini. Uh, so, of course, it's, you know, it's awesome. Gandolfini. And then I'm walking out and I get a... I thought you said they opened two years ago. They've been open for a oh, while. You've been following them. Been for following for two years. Instagram. And so uh, it's a new. It wasn't open when I lived there. Mm. It's like I think they had nineteen, like twenty. Yeah, you were telling me about it. Yeah, it's yeah, amazing. Yeah, when I saw him, he's like, "You gotta go to Prince Street Pizza." Best Sicilian yeah. pizza I've ever had. Um, and as I'm walking out, I get a oh, Makuga. What are you doing here? And I was like, "Oh, Schmoed out live this weekend, hon. I forgot to get tickets." And he thought, <laughs> "Just a random fan." Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that's really good. I was like, "It's sold out." He's like, "Ah, I'm on next time y'all come around." And I was like, "All right, yeah, yeah cool, you know cool. what I gotta do? I guess, like next next year, I gotta do. I realized I could do like a special list, kind of giveaway thing because there's Matt, this or one of a guy who was a." Um, 
He's a writer, oh, Matt, Matt Brown, yeah. yeah. And he was he came to the, the comedy show and said the same thing. I said, Did you get tickets? He said, Nah, I didn't get a chance to do it. I was, I was like, Dude, you've been a fan for a long time. Yeah. I got him on the list. And yeah. came in. It was he had a good nice. time. Yeah, Legend. Cool. Legend. Yeah, yeah a lot of people. I have that... so much FOMO. I don't want you guys to talk about this. I'm anymore. sorry. Well, yeah. we, we actually should move on. We're sorry. We're <laughs> sorry. Riley and I are so sad. I'm just like, I, I can't I say anything. Well, I can't add a thing. Fuck it. Did you guys go to that cookie dough place? No. When you were in New York, we had two no. days. There's a cookie dough fo- place. Yeah, I've been following that on Instagram for. It's the called only dough. thing I ate the whole time was pizza. No, they they and New chicken, York and started and like we have ice cream places or froyo places. New York started a cookie dough place. You go, they give you scoops of different kinds of cookie doughs in a cone. I'm like, that sounds like about diabetes, diabetes but yeah. <laughs> yes, the original name of the store yes. was yeah. diabetes. Yeah. Diabetes. Yes. It was diabetes. Called, it was called diabetes. Oh, diabetes. Oh, that that come on, on down yeah. with diabetes. I don't mind getting diabetes. Yeah. Diabetes sounds scary. Right. The one thing, I, the one thing I will say is, I went down to my because the Prince Street is near my old apartment, so I went down to my old apartment. It was an old like factory space. Were you right? home? Uh, I was not home. Okay. Uh, now my old apartment is a WeWork space, oh, like oh, the old Toad Hop yes, days. Yes, yes. The entrance to the building used to be this like crappy green door that if you pulled hard enough, you just rip it open. <laughs> and uh, now it's like this beautiful entryway, and it says 154 Grand Street, and it's like it's beautiful. Well, but that the best was his part, address, folks. I don't live there anymore, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, go ahead. People like Makuga. Makuga. Yeah. Yeah, it's like someone knocks on the door. The mild man used to live here. Can we take pictures? <laughs> The mild man's the best. Uh, just wait until the alter ego shows up this year in the Schmodown. When the mild man comes out, yeah, it's going to be legendary. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, baby. Look out. All right. Um, I do want to move on, though, because, no, because I, there was an injury yesterday. Oh, no. Uh, Roxy ran into a wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so With what part of her body? Did you not the hear the story? Body. The whole body. The, 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 whole short, body. <laughs> the short story of it is that we were talking to her in the hallway during the break. I'm walking in. So she, she looks over and she says something. She's telling the story. She has like, this smile on her face. And she said, to her own admission, said she was trying to be cool. Uh, like I, she knew I, information. I, I knew something that right. Christian did which turned, which it turned out she didn't. Yeah, which I <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then well, so, but I still don't well, know. We'll talk afterwards. Yeah. And and then so she's looking back. She's got this shitty grin on her yeah. face. And she's like, like, and she turns right, <laughs> boom, right into the wall. And she bounces off so of it like down a my ass. dodgeball <laughs> hitting off of a wall in kindergarten. Um, did it play kindergarten? I don't know. Um, but I think so. yes, yes, yes. I had right. a, an AMA going on my Instagram right now, and like and I'm gonna lost. say at least fifty questions. Asked so about far. the wall. Not how oh. are you doing. How's the wall looking after you hit it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think you're clever? Oh, Listen, you do. Well, we had to, we had to she patch just that. It, dude. I mean, she went. She went, she went, went. <laughs> you're bruised up, right? Oh yeah, yeah, totally. My shoulder actually didn't have any bruise. Okay, but my my ass. I don't think people realize how hard. And like, she did it with a big smile on her face, so it was like it didn't look as bad. But it was, I mean, it was brutal. <laughs> I bounced so hard. You did. Off. I, I'm awesome. telling you, it's like someone threw but a I ball said, against the wall. I don't mind doing that in front of you because, like, I'm an idiot. But in front of Roka, I was like, really? <laughs> no. ah, he's fine. We'll always that's have awesome. the wall, Rocks. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yes. So that's really funny. <laughs> is there any news? That, that. Is there anything else going on? Uh, the news? There's some fake news up on Collider Quick right there now. There is some oh, fake is news What's on fake Collider news? Quick. Uh, Captain Marvel is actually the Top Gun sequel. Yeah. Wow. We figured it out. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah, crazy. yeah. I know. Like, it's it's very accurate report. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would Thanks, like you guys Mike. to go on over there and check that out. Cla- check out um, Collider Quick. And if you go on over to Collider Quick, you'll find the the videos that they're doing, the fake news videos. Mm-hmm. They're they're really good. Hence Thanks, the man. fake news. They're yeah. really funny. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And what else? What, what about extra real news? We're gonna watch cat videos, and that's why everybody tuned What's in tonight. What's the deal? Why do we do it? <laughs> Friends, <laughs> cheese, smelly and cats. Cat, smelly See, but you cat. like that song? Yeah. It's about it's smelly, about smelly cat. cat. You don't like cats. No, no, I actually really like cats. But you don't like cat videos. I don't like animal videos. I don't get it. I don't like baby or animal videos. Wait, but you like dogs and cats. Wait, why? Because well, I don't get it, I guess. What do you mean you don't but get it? Cute. Have you guys ever tried to show me an animal video and you're like, oh, know, and I'm like, what don't you get? It's just an animal being cute. Do you not like that's if you didn't? But you say you like animals. What do you mean you don't you love get animals? Like There's them. not a like joke. It's not like a punchline. It's not like. Right. I don't get it. I don't look at that and think it's cute. Of you a know. dog, like like putting his like, face between the cushion. Like remember when you guys showed me that. Yeah, the dog, the yeah. one that Riley loved. Yeah, oh, that was great. I, lo- I, mean, I love that it, one it, so much. It's so I don't, good. I don't get it. You don't get it. What? The get dog it. stole the camera and, and then ran, away. and then in the no, background, no, no, no. Okay. Let, the me re- let me rephrase. I, yeah. I understand like what's happening. But and then the Benny it. Hill song is in there. You just don't, you don't find, find the humor. I don't. <clears throat> I don't get why you guys like it. Like if I'm going to see a funny. dog, but, just, wouldn't you see the dog in person? Hi, dog. RB3 loves it. Okay. RB3 loves it. <laughs> Real quick. Hold on. RB3 is having a blast right now. Let him, let him, let him laugh. 
<laughs> it's great to hear RB3 it's back. It's great to have him up. Uh, you <laughs> were... <laughs> hey, he's going nuts. Uh, I love RB3. You were basically Miss... seeing a window into your soul right now. It's because yeah. you said you'd eat uh, dead Humans. people. Or eat humans, humans. whatever. She didn't say dead. They were dead. They Sorry, actually, if they're dead, they're probably not good to eat. <laughs> yeah, sh- sure. Forget the Ted Bundy tapes. Listen uh, to Roxy Stryer. Yeah. And you don't understand why dog videos are cute, or cat videos are cute, or why they're funny, or baby videos like kids falling down, kids saying stupid stuff. Uh, you don't find them no. cute. What at do all. you find funny? Anything? Uh, not much. Um, yeah, yeah. Friends. <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> I, I, I like legitimate jokes. Like, an like, act- a, like a dog stealing a camera and running a snack. You knock, never knock. told one on here. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh. Burn shot so block. <laughs> no, I, I think that like situations are funny. Situation or, comedies, apparently. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't. I just don't get the dog cat looking at them. And I'd like to preface is like I don't get what you guys think about it. It's not us guys. It's ninety nine point nine nine percent. I know, but of the everybody's population. always trying to show me but pictures here's, here's of their a, dog. This is the funny thing. I'm not a big cat person. I like dogs. No, yeah, me too. But cat videos are funny. They I don't are. know what it is. They're funny? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or they're cute? Have Put you ever on... seen videos well, of cats reacting to cucumbers? There's the one that I want to find. Oh. No. But cats are best. scared to death of cucumbers. Where's... I want to try that I when I visit my mom. That. I think it's the like one? a snake, right? I don't know. Yeah, I think I saw that. Yeah, we yeah. Did. I think we played it on the show once, but it's a cat... Cat sleeping, and then it's it's la 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 Going. I thought I, I still had half an hour for the cat. That's cat singing. Go to videos. Yeah, let's see. Where you're gonna run into a wall Put and cat, take yourself out of the show? Well, let's I see. guess. Incredible singing cat. I can't be it. No. <laughs> go to uh, go to cat on the yeah, see, cat singing on the couch. Is cat singing on the somebody couch. Somebody didn't edit it, and the cat was actually singing. Like they were singing. Like that whoa, whoa, would be incredible. Well, of course. Mm. That's it. So okay, no, is that it? <laughs> what you oh, want? Oh, you know what? It's like they pet the the. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that's I love Freddie that we Mercury. keep getting the it's Freddie Mercury, Mercury trailer. Yeah. Well, apparently they, they taped that whole concert. You know the yeah. the Live Aid one. They ta- the, oh, this, this is, is it. it. Turn this up, is turn it. up. Turn up. <laughs> it's not up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't find this funny at all. Don't worry about it's, her. It's, it's not the cat. It's wait. an editor. Right, wait. It's quiet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like sniffing the air. It's like the look on your face is worse than what? than anything I've ever seen. It before. breaks my heart when you're when right, you right, right. zero this, 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 this is my favorite part. It's the end. Here we go. <laughs> I think that's it. Is it more? Is it more? Just like teasing the cat. No, the cat likes in the cat's ass. Not what. <laughs> The cat the likes the, the, the tickles. Yeah, the Trust t- me. But not if, the not part. If, if the cat not the what didn't part? Wa- the wind stops. The cat looks at him like, Why are you don't stopping? do that. You know, that's part of it. It's the part of the, the gag. Like, When's it going to happen again? What Do you think these cats are like, what, do you think they're being tortured or something? No, I just don't. I don't. What are you, what do you like? <laughs> I think we we we've lost her. You lost me. We've lost her. It's All right, true. let's find another one. In, in my whole life, life, my two siblings would walk by a little baby and they'd be like, "Look, it's a baby," and I'd be like, "Ugh." Yeah, you, you like d- the, 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 I, you're the, the heartless wonder. That the, should be the name of your show. Mm-hmm. Yes. the The answer to this question, Roxy Stryer. Is your dead inside? Right, yeah, let's, let's, kind let's, of, I guess. Let's let's move. It really sounds like it. Yeah, you are. the look on your face but and I, your reaction. But I had a dog this. and three cats growing up. I liked my dog and my cat. Did but they, they didn't make you laugh. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> they didn't make you laugh. Oh, no, they were so, sweet though. They're really sweet. They ne- the dog, my dog, my my pug. Would, I never met the pug. Would crack me up oh. every day. Because yeah. what? Perfect, What's so funny? perfect example. It, this is the one thing that I used to love is we had this mail slot, and you and I. This is before like YouTube was. Really, I mean, I, there, I could have put this on my show. Yeah, there's this mail slot, and the mail would drop, and it would just you know land in the apartment, and the dog would go. <laughs> jump and his face would go into the mail and he would fire his face into the mail and papers would go flying. He would rip his head around the thing, tear up like three letters, and then it's like this. 
<laughs> and walk did back it. around. Did right? it. Yeah. The other thing, what else did he do? My friend Mike Pont, the same person who named Finstock, had was watching him one weekend. And so he goes and he gets two McRiddles, right? And he and the dog and, and he <laughs> puts and, and he puts the McRiddles down on the table. He goes upstairs, he comes back down, and the paper's there, it's wrapped perfectly, nothing's wrong. He comes around, he sits down, looks inside, gone. The dog <laughs> was able to basically unwrap it without making a mess at all, eats it within the side, two of them, takes off, right? And and Ponce just goes, respect. respect. Right? And then, again, what else did he do? They have two burgers. My friend Eric has this burger, and him used to run with this little uh, this little Boston Terrier called Tidbit. Yeah. And so he's got... Nice. That's like, a great name. That's a great name. Tidbit. So Tidbit and Taz, they were, tidbit. They, they were like, they'd cause some shit. Yeah. So we had, uh, my, my friend Eric has this, has the... I don't know, it's a burger or something. No, it might be a hot dog. I don't know what it was. It's, and he, it's at a barbecue. He's got it. And he's eating it, and Tidbit goes in to bite it. And he goes, Tidbit, no, and grabs it with the left hand, puts it down. Taz is, un- is right there, takes it, eats it, goes under the couch. And Eric's just like, damn it, Taz. He's got it. But it, <laughs> that's the kind of it. shit. Like, it was slick stuff that was really <laughs> funny. That's good. You're never, like, bummed? About what, that he's dead? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's that sucks, eating your food. Oh, yeah, was it? Do you, <laughs> are you, you okay? Do, dogs? do you need some help today? Do you, do you tell him that he's an asshole? Hey, stop, Taz, stop being an asshole. But right, right. when you look like a little demon and like that, like but you think it's funny? It was. I mean, yeah. that was you like all the funny. snow videos over the last couple weeks where Marby dogs get out in the snow for the first time. Oh, or whatever, yeah, it's the best. And they're just like doing that cat thing, like da, 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 yeah. and they're prancing around, they're sprinting around, they're snow flying everywhere. I mean, it's like the cutest thing in the oh, world. Oh, I saw a video like that, but it wasn't an animal. It was um, Erica Ishi, and she was so excited. She it was the her like first time in snow in Prague and that was fun. So you like people, you just don't like okay. anything else but people. Well, I wouldn't say it was funny. It was like sweet. Like, it, it, and there's nothing s- sweet about a dog running through snow. No. Or when they jump no. in, and it's really tried- fluffy, and they disappear. All right. So, and the tail have goes. Have you ever had to clean off a dog snow from a dog? Yes. Do you just don't like to work. That's what it comes no. down to. Oh, oh yeah, that's not me. not here. I was just saying <laughs> no, doing dog ex- work, doing extra work. No, I like that, but I I don't mind it. But it's not funny. Yeah. I don't know about you anymore. Yeah. Goldfish, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> goldfish, yeah. You are falling down a slippery like, slope. Do you yeah, like my, goldfish? They're okay. Yeah. My soft coat of wheat and terrier, and I would have to like for an hour like take off the. This is never melting the by the way. Yeah, that, it was a bad way. move. What, what's up? It was a bad move. What's terrible up? idea. Well, you know why? Because the Lacroix, because I'm convinced it probably is chemicals in it. Every time you put like big ice like that, it just it just. Just falls it into preserves it. Preserves the ice. It's, just, it's been it like just, that the whole show. I know. It's like the Titanic. Oh, just I've seems done healthy. like six close ups on it. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's funny. Yeah, but it's, you know, Roxy's trying oh, to break it. All right, put another cat video on. <laughs> I want to see Roxy stop smiling. Oh. I can't believe you don't like these she videos. She doesn't like it. I don't. Oh, listen, I understand I feel why like you, I'm missing Do you like this one, Cody? Is this one that you picked? No, I just put that and the oh. link in there right, so want, we can Cody, see. I want to see what Cody comes up with next. Because good Cody looking likes cat. cats. That is a good looking cat. All right, let's see what we got. That's cute. Very okay. cute. That's good. He's ringing the bell. He's hungry. That's good. It's yeah. obnoxious. Cat That's con. Obnoxious. Okay. That's cat is yeah, hey, cat Cody con. is cat con before oh, Cody con. What's this, what's this cat doing? <laughs> this cat's just jumping around in a circle. <laughs> On a hoop. <laughs> So that, that's some talent. That right. is good. So, so Roxy, no? Or it's 0 for 2 for Roxy. Roxy hates you don't this. Tell like, us, how adorable is Ro- that? Tell us why you hate it. You don't think it's funny. You think it's cute? Oh, okay, yeah. no, let's do it again. Uh, you don't think that's cute? Adorable little uh, cat? Is that lotion? Kitten? It's like no, milk. it's milk. You decide, Roxy. Himself. Yeah. And uh, by the end cute, of this thing, we either have cute, to up funny or sucks. Or downvote. No, it. just say cute, funny, or sucks. <laughs> After each one, what was that? Quick. I don't know. Come on, Roxy. Play along. Okay. Cat in the box. Cat in the box. Cat in the box. Hey, is the nibbling box, his paws. Is, is cute, that I one's guess. cute. Uh, it, it could be the, a photo. Hanging we're gonna, in the box. We're, we're going to melt your heart by the end hanging of Hanging in there. Uh, just nibbling on his could little claws. Could it be a claws. photograph? Why am I still on oh, Look at this cat. He's eating ice cream. Oh, this cat's eating ice cream. It's tickling no, his belt. No, no. It's, it's a, a miniature a ice cream cone. It went and got it's an ice cream cone. Look at this cat. Look at this cat. And doesn't want to give a shit about the belt. No, cats love milk. Now about this cat. Yeah, cat loves milk. not what's the only thing in ice cream. And sugar. They love sugar, too. That's a cute cat. What's happening? This cat is following the socks. Right, looking this, up. That's dumb. Okay, this is dumb. You don't like okay. this one. I'll give you dumb on this one. This guy needs to but clean still his socks. Adorable. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Well, like, well, oh, double cat. Oh, double, double cat's cat. out of a box. Siamese cat. They're, are they stuck together? No, they just can't fit out of that hole. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's you cute. like that one. That's okay, Roxy, Roxy likes it. Oh, I don't like it, but it's cute. Then licks the camera. 
Looks the camera. I don't camera. like that. Oh, there's another, oh, there's another cat. How about that? Does that make it extra cute? Oh, there's, oh, there's more no, cats. There's two cats. How many Carl fucking cats? cats videos? Getting worse. So How many, many cats are in there? <laughs> okay, this Look, is abuse. This Animal abuse. Never ending fucking cats. Look at this cat. <laughs> this big ass hanging out. <laughs> just in a baby swing? <laughs> no. Look, not in no, you don't like it? No. Okay, I wouldn't not. put that my baby on that cat. <laughs> Fucking thing afterwards. Is that, that one cat or how many cats? That's one big fat fucking cat. <laughs> what? So fat. Well, look at this fluffy little thing. Oh yeah, get some. You like that? No. No. Can but, but look, it, do we want to put some dog videos on to see if Roxy has a heart? Yeah, we'll give you dogs after anything. this. But yeah. that's it. We'll give you dogs next. Look at it's, this poor thing. Riley, yeah, Riley, it's Riley, Riley doesn't it. give a shit if you're in the room. He just wants to watch dog videos. Um, <laughs> look, licking each yeah, other's you know heads my... now. So he's, I mean, the, the one on the left has been in a showdown match and wants nothing to do with him. <laughs> <laughs> Roxy hates this. Yeah, maybe you know, we should do something no, else. Right, how about this guy? Look at this guy with the things on his head. <laughs> it's like Princess Leia. Yeah, I, I think that's funny. Looking. You like this? It's cute. This is, we're getting we're getting close. And a donut, on, donut and ducks. No, I yeah. think I think the Leia thing is funny. Is that another? What is that in the back? Uh, what is that flapping around? That's in the her back? tail. It's a fish. Oh, is, that's a tail. I don't know. Yeah, that's a no, tail. That's a tail. It's a it's a shark. <laughs> Again, I think this could be a photograph, though. All right, that's have an awesome right. cat. Let's video? bring on, bring on uh, a compilation of dogs. <laughs> All right, so cats didn't do it. Some of them were okay, but not funny. No, none of them were funny. But you were no, no they weren't really funny. They were just yeah, they yeah, were just cute. Were okay. and they were just cute. Ones. Let's let's do funny dog videos, Cody. What you need to follow is hilarious. Yeah. Ted on yes. Instagram. Yeah. It's okay, a very look, funny account, and it's just all you, funny. Can I tell you why we're doing this? You want you want the answer to why we're doing this? Misery loves company. <laughs> no, because I was going through the comments. The company yes, loves I, I pulled the George Lucas Jar Jar Banks. I'm glad that I did it. Um, I looked at the uh, I looked at the comments yesterday, and they were. Hold on a second, Cody. Oh. And, oh my God! Can you pause this? This is not a good video. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> funny dog videos. This one is dead. Yeah, I was looking at those comments yesterday, and there were a few. This is like. If you want to see when they start talking about Aquaman, go to 1112. When are they, t- why are they talking about this? How come they're, they're, they're talking about Aquaman? And, you know, there are a lot of the regular fans that are just like, it's the show. Enjoy the ride. And I was like, you know what? Uh, tomorrow, I'm just leading with fucking cat videos. <laughs> and R- Roxy and I, R- I mean, uh, Riley and I were trying to come up. Riley goes, what do you want the main topic to be? And we couldn't find any news. And I go... We watch cat videos. He goes, really? Go, yeah. He goes, like, all, all right. right. With multiple exclamation <laughs> Moved points. Moved on. Yeah. And that was it. And I, Watch I was like, this be our highest viewed one of it, all time. It was kind of an experiment. <laughs> uh, I want to. I do want to see this dog video now. Let's let's see. Okay. And cats being jerks I'll look at next. Because cats can't that, be. Look at, look at this dog. He's look, on a little skateboard. Come on, that's not great, Ross. Oh, man. That dog's crushing it. Look. <laughs> this dog's jumping up and down. Can you make it a, a, a full screen? Oh, then it's dancing. <laughs> No, it just wants whatever food's back yeah. there. Look, dude, that's dangerous. <laughs> oh, that was Roxy. That was Roxy. Are you kidding? I didn't like the kid going into the wall. But I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Uh, that kid's fine. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, my kid's kid went into the wall. The dog put that on yeah. YouTube. Right, right. <laughs> it's this kid. He's just pulling him around. That's funny. No. No, that's what? not funny. Either. That's funny. What? Oh. 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 That kid ate it. Are you kidding? <laughs> Jumping up and down, dad, smiling. Dad, 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 dad. What's he doing now? Oh, He's trying to get some food. Come pizza. on, Roxy. He's trying oh, to get the seat. I got it. Look at the moves. Yep. Good moves. Diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> Diarrhea. Yeah. yeah. Got yeah, it. That's good moves. Yeah. Oh, see that? Like, uh, like that. That's, that's what Taz did. Taz well, that, that. That's impressive. Yeah, yeah. That's what Taz used to do. I like that. I want a dog that does that. Yeah. Then it opens it up. No, I don't want them to open it. Wow. That's see. Look at those things. Those things bounce. Oh, those little. What are they called? Whippets. That thing's gonna get up. What? He's uh, gonna make. He's gonna make. Those it. dogs are called whippets. Yeah, he's gonna make it. Look, yeah. It's like when I used to yeah. take uh, whipped cream and. You think he's yeah. gonna make it? No, nah, I don't think he's gonna make it. Tell my friend tells. <laughs> Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, Roxy. Huh? Dog. Look I like in the, the cat mirror. one. Though. You like the cat one a lot better. better. What? Look how adorable is that? Whoa, oh, no, this is great. He's, <laughs> he's trying to lick his own balls. <laughs> he's trying to get his tail, but oh. also his uh, back foot, maybe. He got it. He got it. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. That's a big uh, dog, too. Uh, it's gonna hurt and, and, uh, no, nah. he's fine. He knows what Dogs and cats are invincible, basically. All right, so all right. not true. We can turn it off. Um, Roxy, you always think, like, go towards the negative. Enjoy the moment. I can't. It's yeah. ridiculous. 
You yeah. need to really up your game as far as happiness. No. Yeah. No, huh? No. Wow. Right. This right. is, um, it's interesting. We learned a lot about you today. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm really, yeah, I'm confused. You may, you yeah. may need to take a breather. I don't uh, like that. You don't like that. You need a little kid hit the wall so hard. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I wasn't so a big fan. And, and, and I, I their parents are like, ah. Oh. Well, if, if, the kid, if the kid was okay, I understand why they posted it, but I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not a big fan. The of, kid's fine. I kids know. are always fine. They roll around. They run into stuff. They're they're invincible. I would. Poor, my poor like a daughter, ch- my one and a half year old's been eating it lately. <laughs> it happens. She just keeps falling. <laughs> like, kids fall all the time. Yeah, she keeps falling. Yeah, she's like that's today. why you fall young, and then if you fall old, you die. My 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 wife this morning Who was like, to just up make their happiness now. What? That's just the saddest saying, thing right. I've ever heard. What? If you're old and you fall, a lot of times you die. It happens. Mm-hmm. It's true. It's a lot of, a lot of falls. That's why happen. you don't want to see old people fall, but when you see kids fall, it's hysterical. Yeah. But uh, yeah, oh my God. like the videos where some guy, some woman's running, she's holding a baby and she's trying not to fall. She's just like holding the baby, and then the, it's fine. It's just like she's just tripping, she's tripping, she's tripping. She knows she's, she's, okay. she she's fine. I'm not hoping for them to fall and die. It's just funny that this happens. Um, uh, what? <laughs> when it go fish here? When it go fish here? <laughs> I, listen, I'm not saying I want old people to die. I'm right. saying not I don't want to see every old person that falls dies. I'm, what I'm saying and is that some little people that fall are uh, okay. Sometimes they may like break an arm or hurt themselves. They're fine. They're kids. They're invincible. They pop right back. They're not up. invincible. Roxy, I f- I had 150 plus stitches as a kid. I'm still here, living the dream. It's fine. It's everybody's fine. You're How fine. How are you? <laughs> Everybody is fine. This is amazing. Oh, my God. All right, listen. Uh, as much as I want to stay here, um, let's move on. Um, that was awesome. What are, you, what are you, doubting my everybody's fine thing? No. I okay. think a lot of people get, some people get hurt. I think she's right that sometimes people fall off cliffs. Well, I'm not, we're not watching a fall off cliff video. We're just watching it's like a whole a, different uh, show. Get quickly <laughs> drunk into it. All right, let's move on. Mad. All right, what's going on? What's going, what's, is something going on? Yeah, what's you? up? No, I'm just mad. About what? That. I'm sad and mad but, about but you it. But you seem pretty in a, in a decent mood today when you came in. Thank you so much. You did. Did the cat videos upset what happened like, you? Like, yeah, you I don't went, like them. I don't like yeah. them. Yeah, and it sets you into a different mood, yeah, huh? Yeah, it's sad and mad. And I also, I, you know, I feel bad for old people and, mm. and the kids. And I'm not saying I don't feel bad for old people. I'm saying I don't want to see old people fall. But when kids fall, it's fine. Right, because he know, he but knows I, don't, I don't want to see anybody fall. I'm just not rooting for anybody to fall. Okay. Let's, you know, let's throw it out there. When we were programming this show last night, <laughs> I never who, Old people fall, young people fall. Who do you prefer when they way. fall? Uh, yeah. Neither. I don't want either to fall. Let's just say you're out there and you see like a, a like you see somebody walking and they're just like trip and they look like they fall. It doesn't look like they got hurt. What do you do? Run away. What? <laughs> How, what if do you I do? see somebody trip and fall, what yeah. do I do? I go help them. Okay, you don't get a, like a little giggle inside. <laughs> No. Like when somebody accidentally trips and like drops their coffee everywhere. And it's hysterical. Are you know you... Starbucks is going to give them a new coffee. Absolutely not. No. I never, ever feel like, haha. Of course I go to them like, are you okay? And if they're giggling, I will start I it depends If it the... looks like a very violent I, fall, I think, then yeah, I will here, go Here's the thing. Them. I think it depends on the fall. Because here's, here's the perfect example. Like I was told the story yesterday. Ken and I were coming up that ramp. Yeah. And that woman like ate it. Mm-hmm. And it didn't, it wasn't a funny fall. No. It looked like, it was just like, pomp. And we ran over to her to see if she was okay. Yeah. So, um, but to his point. If the woman would have been like, you know, was walking into an whoops and like fell and made some kind of stupid sound or, or like it looked like a funny, <laughs> like a funny fall. If she if, if she laughed about it when she got up, then I'd probably laugh with her. She's probably embarrassed. Well, this wasn't. Yeah, she might have been blacked this, out drunk, too. I think exactly what did you Did you see that girl? Yeah. She was she hammered, was, right? Was yeah, hammered. see, that's what yeah. I thought because like she just went, she because when she got up, it was like, I have, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah. She pulled the Elliot She pulled the Dewberry. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, and, 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 some people have real anxiety for fun. And fear, and, I sh- they, and I they see. get very drunk. I see, and but you know the thing is, she like she went like it was not like a stumble like that. It was like <laughs> she just went. Over. But that's not yeah. funny. She could have really hurt herself. I agree with you. Well, maybe no, she no, no. shouldn't have he, blacked out drinking. He wouldn't have laughed at that this fall. That's I think that's what he's trying to say though. It depends on the actual fall itself. Someone drops their coffee in in a certain funny way, but in a way that you know you could hurt yourself. You how? Why do we keep talking about this? Burn let's yourself. Move, let's move on. Uh, I want to talk it about really movie hurt. news. All right. <laughs> Right, news, 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 and or nonsense. No, we, we, I think we, we talked nonsense. a lot of nonsense. 
A, lo- a lot of nonsense. I, I have no idea who you are anymore. I have no idea. I, I, f- I like friends that don't like cheese, and I'm not into cat videos. <laughs> it keeps that like long walks resume. on the beach. My dating profile. Keep yeah. adding to the resume. Yeah. Would you like to wow. take a break? Come back and then talk about movie news. That's fine. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Good. Whatever you want to do. All right. I got the news right here if you want. What is it? <laughs> Roxy, where? What's what planet are you on right yeah. now? Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Aliens and shit. Yes, aliens and shit. Yeah. this has yeah. been Abducted. so interesting. Yeah, you're you're on the, you're you're somewhere else. Next today. level. Yeah, like you're <laughs> next level. level. Uh, you're on a whole. Cool. Other level. Cool, cool. <laughs> Did you smoke beforehand? No, I never. Is this do. an acid I, flashback? Yeah. Or yeah. Maybe. Like... Maybe. What? We were talking about something that made me think of acid, though. What? The last there time I had this the whole last, conversation. Cat video. <laughs> no, the last time I had a slice of pizza, I was no. on acid. Oh. Ah. No. Okay. Then this pizza. is the flashback. No, that's the whole story. Anybody who's ever no. taken acid knows how long it takes to eat a slice of pizza. Like it took me like maybe four and a half. Did hours. Oh yeah, cheese? that's everybody talks about eating pizza on acid. acid. Did it have no, cheese on it? I'm not kidding because I don't know if any of you guys have ever taken acid, but no. eating is. Like next to impossible, you just can't figure but did you, it out. But did you have, it had cheese on oh, it. Oh, it did. But, and that's how effed up I was, where I was like eating cheese with yeah, cheese. Yeah, t- I mean, we're talking like 10 years ago, but oh. I literally. Nothing like going to a local planetarium with a laser show on acid and making sure it's all about pizza. Come on. There's way what more fun happened? stuff to do. On no, she's not saying, she's no, not no. saying it was fun. She's no, just saying how it long fun. it took oh, to oh. eat it. Yeah, it. I just yeah. Did, that's what I was she thinking was hungry about. She was hungry and started eating it. Yeah. You have to, because if you're tripping for like 14 hours, you have to find a way to eat something at some point. So mm-hmm. I was like, oh, let's grab something quick, a, a slice of pizza. And I sat down for four and a half funny, hours. Funny story. Acid's still illegal in New York and everywhere else. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is a hypothetical right. question. Hypothetical question. What if Roxy liked things? Yeah. What if I just did? I just wish to this day that we had a still photo of Thad's face when you screamed that off. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to break. Mm-hmm. When we get back, um, what are we going to talk about? Your guess is as good as mine. When we get back. <laughs> I'm so sad. Hello there. No, it's not late to the party. That's actually from Obi-Wan Kenobi. You didn't know that? Well, you should, and now you do. Jedi Council. What is it? It's about Star Wars, obviously. It's Jedi Council. Every week, the latest and greatest in Star Wars movie news, myself and Ken Knapsack. That's right, the pit boss himself. We have a guest on, and we talk about everything happening in the world of Star Wars. If it's the movie news, the TV news, canon news, comic books, games. And then we take questions from you guys on Facebook and Twitter. It's a lot of fun. We've been doing it for a couple of years now. I'm still excited talking about it. The fan base is coming together again. I believe it is. I think it is. I hope it is. And we're talking Star Wars, so we like you. That's right. All of you, if you're not a fan of Star Wars, come on over and join us every Thursday for Collider Jedi Council here on Collider Video. And we have an Apple Podcast feed or Podcast One, wherever you want to go if you listen to podcasts. And not only do you get Collider Jedi Council every week on Thursday, The Rule of Two with Mark Fernandez and Mark Riley, that's on every week. I believe it drops on Wednesday. It's on one of these days. It's a good show. You should listen to it. I like it. I listen to it. I haven't listened to it once. Hey, guys. Ryan Satin here from ProWrestlingSheet.com. And if you're a pro wrestling fan, which... I hope you are, even if it's in secret, then you should be checking out Wrestling Sheet Radio Weekly. Uh, We've got a bunch of shows in the podcast feed. We've got weekly recaps from myself and John Rocha, which you guys will probably know from the Collider family. Uh, That's for Raw. That's for SmackDown. We've also got the weekly roundup of wrestling news. It's a show I host called Wrestling Sheet Radio with Jamie Iovine and Elijah Bates. And we've also got a bunch of other stuff in our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash C slash Wrestling Sheet. So check it out. Subscribe. And I hope you guys dig it. Hey, everyone. Mark Ellis here. You know, when I'm not trying to clone dinosaurs or drinking in my neighborhood watering hole, I am probably hosting Collider Movie Talk. It's a flagship show here at Collider. I like to say that because I'm the host of it. It's every day, almost. It's four days a week, which is still pretty good, above 50%. You can watch it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 4 p.m. Los Angeles time is when we do it. It's live, so you can participate in the live chat room. Go ahead and give us your thoughts on every story we have coming, because it's all the latest movie news of the day. Who did what at the box office? What horrible red box movies Bruce Willis signed on to? The DC, the Marvel, the Star Wars, the Lord of the Rings. Are they making new? I think they're, it's a TV show, and we still might talk about it anyway, because we love movies around here. It's myself and an expert 
expert panel of guests, including John Roca, Perry Nemiroff, Jeff Snyder, and other noted noters of note. You guys are going to love this show. And then we take your live Twitter questions at the end of the show at Collider Video. You can always use the hashtag Collider Movie Talk to get in touch with us. So subscribe right here to Collider Video. Check out Movie Talk and check out the Collider Movie Talk podcast feed. We have a podcast feed now. You don't have to look at this handsomeness. You can just listen to it, whether you're driving to work, whether you're driving from work, or you don't have a job, but you have a basement and ears. You can listen to Collider Movie Talks feed. You can get it at Apple Podcasts or on iTunes. You also get Mailbag. That's the show that's hosted by Perry Nemeroff a lot more professionally than I run this pirate ship. That's our weekend show where she takes your letters. I don't know if you write them or you email them. You have to ask her. Check it out in video form or on our podcast feed. What's up, Collider fans? If you are a fan of television and you want to watch a guy that looks like me and a guy named Thad Williams talk about TV every single Friday, subscribe to the Collider channel. Collider Podcast is where you can find the video. Uh, We have our own iTunes feed, hashtag at Collider TV Talk. You can find it on iTunes or wherever you find your podcasts and you listen to them in your ear holes. That's where Collider TV Talk comes at you. We talk about TV news. We talk about shows we love, shows that we don't love. And most importantly, we don't read any books because... Because TV has nothing to do with reading. We also have a show called Hypothetical Questions with myself and Roxy Stryer and all kinds of reviews right here at the Collider Podcast channel and the Collider TV Talk feed. Subscribe, rate, like, tell your friends, tell all your friends to tell their friends. And before you know it, it's a pyramid scheme of television. I'm Josh McCuga. You can see Thad Williams and myself along with Roxy Stryer and all the Collider personalities all the time right here on Collider TV Talk. As always, put down the book, pick up the remote. Hey everyone, I'm when Scott goldfish, Moody yeah. Mans, and just to let you know, yeah. if you already don't, every Friday here on Collider Video, I host a weekly film review series called Movie Review Talk. The title says it all. Every week I'm joined by two guest critics of my choice, and they're never the same. We review the new films. We pick something that's streaming that you might not know about, but is really great. And we pick a Blu-ray for something that you might have missed in theaters. It is fun, it is infectious, it is the Citizen Kane of movie review shows, and it's only right here on Collider with this guy, Scott Movie Mance, Mr. Movie Release Dates himself. Check it out every Friday at 10 a.m. AM Pacific only on Collider Video. Welcome back to Funny Cat Videos, starring Roxy Stryer and <laughs> Blow Your Nose, Wipe Your Glasses, McGillicuddy. Did you ever see that terrible show, Ridiculousness, on MTV? Did you ever watch that? I feel like I've heard of it. Okay, so it's basically Rob... Uh, Rob Zombie. Yeah, Rob, uh, you know, the skateboarder. I don't know, Rob, and B- Rob Dyrdek, thanks. And they do, like, they just make funny jokes about internet videos. Right. Roxy would be terrible on that she, show. Yeah, good at it, yeah. What are you talking about is on my face? Uh, you had a little, you have a little piece of glitter on certain lights. It's more lights. towards your eye. Yeah, on your left Here? eyeball. No, yeah, left right, eyeball. No, the right. Uh, there's one on the right. Oh, so you got them on both. I can only see the Is left eyeball one. Is it on purpose one. glitter? No, get the thing. Go know. like this on the right. No, on the right cheek on the bottom. On the bottom. Are you effing with me? No, go like this. Seriously, go like this. What are you? I'm just kidding. There's nothing there. Uh, where? There's Josh, nothing there. Where? No. You know, I used to think you guys were my friends, but the only person today that has e- even acknowledged, Happy yeah, is, is, is Jeff Snyder. It, your real birthday? Today? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Yes. Jeff Snyder was like, "It's your birthday. Happy birthday!" I was like, "I know." And Did I, you not know that? I, I knew it, Aren't and then I forgot when I came in. Oh, that's not a fucking thing. That's not. We talk about cat videos and pizza at three in the morning. Today, we don't talk about his today birthday. Today is your birthday. Yeah, yeah. today's my birthday. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm, I'm cleaning Papa's glasses for you. <laughs> well, I'll so I can wear them. Wait. You know what I'll do? I'll do it with my seven-year-old, guys. I'm going to do the same thing I do with my seven-year-old. Are you? I'm going to do the same thing I do with my seven-year-old. Let's rewind time. <laughs> Let's go back. Hold on. Yeah. Cody, take us back. Bring us in back to the intro song that we oh! have. Come in. All right. Check your mirror. Check your face. Check your face. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Collider Live. It is Tuesday, and we are starting the show. Before we start... Very special. Happy birthday to the Wild Man! Happy birthday! Thank Thank you. You. Thank you. Thank you. Are you being serious? Yes. I had no app that told me that. I apparently Nobody not. reminded Facebook. me that. Facebook? No. No, I'll take that. I should have. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I saw the Facebook prompt. Right. Amanda put up like 140 stories today. She likes to embarrass me on yeah. social no. media. No She's way. I'm looking at, at my calendar. Didn't have it. No, it's not there. If anybody, you should. Well, it's his birthday. It's January 29th. You used to it, wait because it wasn't there when it was on his birthday. No, just, oh. I'm just saying. I, mm. Usually, I have those things in my calendar. Mm. Yeah. 
January Are you excited for it? Yeah, I mean, what the hell time are you I'm born? Jan- Why do you think you were born in June? Mm-mm. Yeah, January, close. January 29th. Today is your birthday. <laughs> when were you going to tell us? Just he now. He just did. I, no, I, he wanted. He was testing us. <laughs> see if see if anybody. Snyder. Was here. It was, it was Snyder. Snyder. It was fucking if, Snyder. If we took a poll, if we took a poll <laughs> beforehand in the yeah. office, who would be the first person? Uh-huh. I would have lost a lot of money. Yeah. I would have guessed Roxy for sure. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. That's my thing. Yeah. I know people's I would have guessed usually. you. Jeff Snyder is the wow. first person. I'm so sorry. Pretty, pretty impressed. It's okay. It's okay. We I, made you watch cat videos. That's your apology. Yeah, you know the thing is you you like there are a lot of people so like, there are a lot of people yeah. there are a lot of people who are like that. Like a lot of people, majority, who are just like, I want to see if people acknowledge it, and yeah. and then if not, I don't give a shit. I don't care. <laughs> no, I, 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 I have, I gone, I have gone days. I have gone days with saying, saying to somebody, "When's your birthday?" It was a few days ago. I've done that many times. I, is it has nothing to do uh, because you know what? I, but I but watch. Why. I watch all Josh's stories usually, and Amanda's. I'm on top of this but stuff. Here, I have things set in my calendar. Okay, but here's why it should matter. I'll I'm, tell you the honest. And truth. honestly, I you know, you know I'm who I should call. You, guys. you know who I should. No, I know you are. Ghostbusters. You know, no, stop it. I would like to Stop. I would like to call your mom yeah. and congratulate her. Cause okay, it's because it's what her she day. did. She, you did nothing. Nothing. You were born. Yes, um, and then for the next thirty-seven years, I tortured her. Right. I can tell you <laughs> at I least can, for the first right. eighteen for and, sure. Right. Every time on your birthday, every January twenty, whatever today is, 29th. 29th. Mm-hmm. Every January 29th, Deb Bakuda should get a phone call. Yes. That says congratulations she, for everything that you did. She calls for this me maniac. She calls me and she says happy birthday. And I said no, mom. Thank you. Right. Because you went through hell yeah. uh, thirty-seven years and ago. All you did was and shit and cry. It, correct. That's all you did forever. I can tell you that from experience. I'm so upset. Yeah. What? So, well, you don't want to get stop it. Stop it. I stop it. I need, stop it. You don't agree with any of this? I would have brought him something. No, I agree. I don't care what you said about the, the, the his calling his mom. That's nice too. But it's his birthday, and that's the thing that we do. We celebrate birthdays. You don't want to get away from that. No. You don't think we need to? Why do we celebrate? What, what are we doing? Because why, what, we doing? why not celebrate? What did you do? I'm not saying that why? he did anything. You I'm saying something. what? Because what I would restaurants... like to celebrate my friends. You could pick a different day of the right. year. I'd if rather you... do that. Okay, so which day are you picking? Give him, set him a date every year. Um, the day <laughs> met, like his anniversary, I understand. Because he found a good woman. So you're going to celebrate his anniversary? No, I, no, but I congratulate him for his anniversary, is what I'm saying. I'm not congratulating him for his birthday. I'm celebrating that, the fact that he was born. Celebrating to, his life. Go to the restaurant. Go talk world history with the waitress over there, and then and then you know. Is there is there a restaurant around that she gives a, you free stuff you on know, your birthday? She's still over there. I think so. Oh. I think she definitely is. I told Grammy that story yesterday. She was not happy. No. With she me. wanted. Oh, she wanted you to, to report it. She was just like, as a Jewish woman, I cannot believe you didn't say anything that is incredibly offensive to our religion. And I was like, I was trying to tell you a funny story. Yeah, <laughs> like, talk about your all time biggest backfire. She was really, yeah. really not like, happy. I don't know of, about yeah. I don't know about the extreme. <laughs> yeah. But I do, I told you the same thing. I, I kind of agree because I, 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 I know I know. I know each day I think about I it. Think I see about house. I just it didn't come out quick enough. Yeah. It, I I know that's surprising because yeah. it's me and I. Da, 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 it just didn't come out. Yeah. Okay. Didn't come out. Speaking right. of, Happy birthday. Oh, thanks. Yeah. My, so my Grammy, who, so who I call Beanie, uh, is awesome. She is where she's nine, 89, and she's moving for the oh first time in 63 Eight, years. Nine? Eight. Oh, wow. Nine. Yeah. So she's lived in the same house since uh, 63 years ago, so don't do that math, whatever. And Is she moving into a home? No, not at home. It's like a, an assisted apartment complex where there's things to do, but it's an independent like living facility. More. Yeah, it's an independent cool. community. Uh, and she's she's very stressed out about it. So I thought I'd give her a call a couple of days and be like, how's the move going? And I was like, so Beanie, how's the move going? She's like, nobody understands anything. And I was like, at 89. <laughs> yeah, at 89. She's still just like livid, right? Yeah. And I was like, what? What's going on? She's like, I have this chest of stuff that I want to bring, and I don't want to empty the chest. I just want them to take it close and move it into a truck and I was like yeah but it's a little heavy and she goes that's what their arms are for and I was like you still got it beans 89 years you still, <laughs> still got, got it. it it's awesome right. well, totally. did she remember yeah. your birthday she did she Good. sent me a card on like January 14th because right. she likes to be early I think it's okay when the family like when the family is cute yeah. congrats and that, that's a, that's a main thing what right? are you gonna do are you, are you gonna do karaoke <laughs> Uh, well, so um, we were in New York last weekend, and then I'm in Arizona this weekend. My birthday's in the middle of the week. So what are you doing in my, Arizona? Uh, st- stand up with Mark and Ken. Oh, is it this yeah, weekend? Yeah, oh, it's, okay. it's Friday right. at the uh, Pub Rock Live in Phoenix, Arizona. Great. And then we're going to we're going to go play, finally play top golf. I've been trying to play nice. top golf for like the last three what years. What about karaoke? So next week, I think I'm going to do something maybe next weekend. So like that first full weekend of February, so it'll be like I don't know, like the seventh or something. I'll throw out something, do a little karaoke somewhere. Nice. Um, but so my little niece uh, Facetime. 
FaceTime me this morning, right? And she's obsessed with birthdays. She's three. And so uh, she FaceTimes me and I don't have a shirt on. And she's like, why are you naked? And I was like, no, I have pants on. She goes, you should be naked. <laughs> oh, okay. Ben's like, she's obsessed with nudity right now. She's doing the potty train thing. We're kind of like, you know, trying to get her on the toilet. And then right. she says to me, give me a present. I'm like, no, you're supposed to get me a present. No, no, no. It's me present time. And I was like, oh, good okay. point. Good point. Uh, sure, sure. Point. And then she found, you love this. They got her a fart machine. Oh, nice. Right? And she's got the fart machine. And yes. Yeah. And she Start plays it. She, she, Ben's like, watch. She'll, she'll do the whole thing for you. All right, Jenny, let's get Uncle Josh. And she goes and she puts it by her butt. And she starts getting it. And she goes, Uncle Joshy. She plays the sound. Oh, she pretends and that you're doing it. And she plays it. And I'm doing it. She blames the farts on me. I like it. Yeah, it was pretty good. good. That was a pretty good birthday Three? present. Three. That's great. Yeah. Um, well, cool. Happy birthday Thanks, to you, man. Sir. I appreciate it. Are you guys going to do dinner tonight or mm-hmm. something? Mm-hmm. That's so nice. Yeah. yeah just chill out. Good. Um, happy birthday. I want, happy yeah. birthday. I want to move on to, uh, let's see, if the, is there anything actually movie news related that we want to talk about? I think it happened last night, today. Yeah. I What's mean, going on in the world? It's a little slow out there. Okay, Black Panther is returning for the weekend. Uh, to free, right? Free. Yeah. AMC is going to be playing That's a lot of whoa. the- That's uh, for the Oscars, for oh, Titanic get, movie. and and uh, a lot of people were pushing back. Oh, well, it's on Netflix. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, and it's like, well, why don't you go to the theater for a free ticket and enjoy it? And yeah. that's what is happening. That to me would be a great like one of those bots that comes up. Like anytime you like type in a comment, it's just angry Riley. <laughs> It's just that's like, pretty good. I like that. Right? Like it's just like it's I one will of those, gladly. It's one of those tabs. Like, every that. time you yeah. type in, like it, it registers the analytics or or whatever. It's like it, uh, it the algorithm. It knows when you're giving leaving a dick comment. Yeah. And Riley pops up and just like, what dick. Would you, what would you scream about the about the AMC? Come on. Why don't you go to the free movie and enjoy yourself? <laughs> but I don't like. I don't but li- it's on Netflix. Po- Why don't you shut up? The popcorn stale. I don't really like that theater. Well, then don't get popcorn. Just go and enjoy the movie. You, you can get friends. nibs. Yeah. You can have good. new friendships in the movie theater. <laughs> Which one of the nibs? The ice cream chocolate nice covered nibs. Yeah. Nibs are from yeah. idiots. I don't like nibs. Yeah. Um, so um, angry Riley. Yeah. I that's like it. Fine. Punch, punch, I, kick, kick. Like an angry oh, Riley God. emoji. We need more angry Riley emojis. Yeah. And they could be all. They could be from wherever. Just but I think like a, a good angry Riley emoji. Maybe like a face turn with like yeah. a subtitle. Or just a good, we don't have a good angry. Oh, there's only or, uh, one. I mean, you know what? There, well, there's an angry. The best angry gift that you can get is when he when he went off on Roca in the post interview. Oh yeah. How do people get time. these gifts? They make them. There's like there's, there's <laughs> yeah, a full well, how, on how, how does some of them stay? God bless you. You know, like sometimes <laughs> they know people, how to do it. People Happy will make birthday. me these <laughs> gifts and then they go away. And, and you can't search them. But then sometimes they're searchable. Yeah. I want more searchable gifts. There's a lot of, of them. Me. If you search Josh McCoy, because I'm multiple gifts come up. Right yeah, now. dude, let's do let's do some gift searches cool. from people. Let's yeah. Ro- Roxy. Yeah, there's one for jo- Josh right Ro- now. Roxy, I need you to in... tune in a little bit here. You've been all, yeah, yeah, I'm ready. You're, you're right. You're good. Ready. She's got right. the glasses. So, on. Happy birthday, yeah, Josh. Go to Twitter. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you're you're another galaxy right now. Uh, differently. Yeah. Just type in. Uh, can you post a gif or look for gifts? What? No tweets yet. Let's do. Yeah. Let's do. All right. Let's type in Josh McCoy and see which one comes up. He is one for this. Show that says professionalism. <laughs> that, the top one is the one that's used the most. That's the Jeopardy I, I one. Use from... that. I use that. No, that's not Jeopardy. The top left. Top that, left is no. That's at that's the live, live showdown. Event. Right. Right. When, oh, when the Jeopardy with the moment. Jeopardy question. Yes. Yes. Yeah. A lot of the dancing. A lot of showdown dancing. Yeah. Oh, there's one from the old Steve Garrett Zaragoza show. Oh, that's one. Yeah. When yeah. Steve. Yeah. I see that. That was um, good. You have so many. There's a lot of good ones. Yeah. There's that one. Who knows? Wait, is a good one. You got a wow, hedgehog Barry. one or something. All right. Now put in Roxy Stryer. Let's see what we get for Roxy. Really? I have one. Roxy Stryer. Let's see. Got. It. Yeah. You only want to put. No, put yeah, there's one on the bottom. Put Roxy Stryer Schmodown. See if that happens. Nothing. Maybe. Nothing. You've tried it. I've tried everything. <laughs> Oh, there's one. Oh, that's, you, oh, that's you know the one I How want is Roka one of those little up? giffies on Instagram. Oh, wow. You need, like, somebody needs to make you one of those or something. I don't know how what that works. What about Mark So, like, if you, if you search Roxy Stryer, and then you could have a giffy uh, to put on, like, your Instagram stories. Mm-hmm. But I don't know who oh. makes those or how to make those or who makes those because I want one. I would, I would, I would want like to go that. But yeah, Mark Riley that. Schmoes. Try that. How's his doing? No, no. no there was a couple. Yeah, Schmodown. Schmodown. Pro- Schmodown would probably come up a lot more. A lot of there jelly. Yeah, lot, yeah as well, Bibiani yeah. going yeah, through his chest. I can't believe I only have one. I've I, done so many Riley, hours. you need to use the I have been this excited ever one. Right yeah. there. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> been this excited. I haven't That's been good. this excited ever. That was good. <laughs> you probably have a thousand, Christian. It's probably the same thing. And we um, found out that we botched the names of those little girls, Kara and Zoe. Yes, Kara. And Kara and I Zoe. said yes. Zoe. Did you? No. No. You didn't. Cody Hall. Look at Co- Cody's got it going. I said Brian. <laughs> We're co- yeah. Oh, that's Cody. real yeah. quick. 
Yeah. A lot of people came up to me at the live event and at the, even at the comedy show, and they're like, we really miss your and Cody's uh, fantasy updates. And I said, listen. So at, do w- I. At one point this year. You talked about it on the pre-show. One match. Did I? Yeah. yeah, you talked about it on the pre-show. One, what, yeah. one match or maybe like two matches this year, Cody and I will do a fantasy update. Let's do one at the live event. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's but actually yeah, we, a pretty we, good we, idea. We, yeah, we'll do, have you guys do Maybe for one of the exhibition matches, too. Oh, yeah, I like, that. I yeah. like that. I like that idea. Um, all right, so Riley, anything else going on in the world? Uh, they're they're going to continue the Child's Play franchise Why? on the Sci-Fi Network oh. as a series. A series? Okay. Yeah. So they're rebooting the movie, okay. right? But this one is going to be the regular Chucky, uh, Brad Dourif, and it's going to continue eight episodes right now. But it starts off with like an origin story? No, it's going to be a continuation oh, okay. of the last movie, which I believe was Cult of Chucky. So everything's canon. All yeah. They're rebooting yeah. the movie. They're, they're rebooting the movie. As a series. Nope. Reboot. <laughs> Movie. So here we go again. Regular series continuation that of what we me. have. No, no, not oh, okay. with you. Not with you. Just yeah. the, the reboot. Yeah. We yeah. Just and it's like you have different canons now going. Yeah. Like that. Yes. So that that's the the. Oh wait, no. This is hysterical. A Funko movie is in development at, at Warner Brothers. Why? Oh, yes. like exactly. Funko Pop? Oh, Funko Pop. You know Pop. the Funkos oh, that see. everybody's I see, I see. lunatics over? I, I see. Nah, I've got a few. Yeah, I, 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 I don't understand that, that collecting like a, thing. Yeah. Um, a lot of people, were for a while, were going. I mean, there were a few that I Perry got. has one of herself. So do I. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ray, Those are so great. Yeah, Ray, Ray Ora, when he was working at Collider, made us all That's a bunch so of them. Cool. They're awesome. I love them. Um, I want I want to make them. I, like them. I want to make them. For a few sure. years ago, Christmas time, for the with the White Elephant, um, Christian's mm-hmm. favorite uh, holiday pastime. Yes. Now um, with you was a gift giver. <laughs> correct. Uh, we, they, we got like a slack that was, you know, Christmas White Elephant, minimum this amount of money, no Funko Pops. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None. Because Dennis has like... Four Thousands. or five moving boxes full, full of it's Funko so Pops. My brother and his wife collect them, and they yeah. have shelves and shelves yeah. full of them. It is something. It's it's crazy. Is the fad dying out, though? I don't think so. No? no Not I, according I, to, to now. They're okay. going to make a movie. They're making a movie. Yeah, yeah they no, want to no, do I, it. They're, I don't they're looking at the Lego kind of template. I was going to say, could it be like, would it be stop action? or would it Yeah, be it's going like to be Lego? a mix of uh, animation and live action. Did you guys ever see the Emoji movie or no? Yeah, it was crap. It was really bad. It was horrible. I watched it on a plane. I gotta tell you, usually on planes because I'm forced. I'm like, this isn't terrible. Emoji movie was pretty bad. It was. Man. Yeah. It was. It was a really bad, blatant like advertisement, and it was just a badly written yeah. movie. Uh, all are, are there any movies? And I know you have to see it. You're gonna do reviews, but just in general, where you see the trailer, and you're like, I'm never going to watch there this are movies movie. That, that was one of them. What happens to me is. When it feels like work, when I see a trailer, yeah. I go, "Oh my god!" I know that yeah. if I wasn't doing this, right. I'd have to watch. I would yeah. never see this movie. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, a tough one. But I don't know. I mean, it depends on who. Do we know who's writing it? Who's directing it? Uh, let me go. I, no, there no. wasn't a lot of details. It was like slash film kind of found out mm. uh, through some of their sourcing that they were like, "Wait, this is actually in development." Yeah. Uh, uh, writer Daniel Rickman. Okay. Uh, uh, in the well, Super Rickman's... Bros movies. All right. Well, uh, listen, in development doesn't mean shit no, though. Too. No, it just it doesn't mean we're going to see it. It just means that they're developing it and they're yeah. working on they it. They get the script and they they yeah. have some Lego flavor, maybe, and, they, and War- that, it's Warner Brothers. So well, that's what they're trying for. They're trying, yeah. and, and who knows if they're going to be able to accomplish it. Happy birthday! What's going on? I'm, I'm trying to think of like what I would title the Funko Pop movie. I'm trying to get like a good pun in there, but I got nothing. You got nothing. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're get not ready for the movie, some so. Funko. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Funko. Are you ready for some Funko? This could Funko. be Funko. Yeah. Funko. Yeah. Funko all. Uh, anything <laughs> else? Girls just this is the, the top news. And this is why I, I mean, this, can this, you believe this, this is what this happened is why last I night. Take cat videos. Uh, d- did you watch the the? <laughs> did you guys watch the Ted no. Bundy uh, oh, Zach no, Efron no, 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 no. Oh, trailer? Oh, trailer. Yeah, I, mean, I tell you. It, it, so apparently, people have seen this movie already, and they're talking about it, and saying it's really good. Yeah, it premiered at Sundance, correct? Yeah. So, yeah, I don't like the trailer. Not the trailer because, was fine. Not yeah. because it looks like a bad movie, because of my, my con- what, what, a lot of people have concerns for the Tarantino movie that's going to glorify all the murders right. and everything, right? This, to me, looks like they're, they're doing this kind of funny version, uh, like this Playboy version of Ted Bundy, and I'm like, uh-oh. Yeah, they're yeah. like they're like high jinx and sue, and, and like and not now it's really. told now it's told through the eyes of the woman who was upset, you know, was was his girlfriend and was stuck with him for the longest of times, mm-hmm. and maybe that's just how she saw him. But it's tough for me to. But but again, this I isn't like a Harley Quinn comic no, movie. This, this, this is a life. This dude so, killed yeah. people at the college I went to. Like he, yeah. he how many people, people did he totally did he kill? I yeah. asked that yesterday, yeah. and I asked Jack. Um, he was he looked it up. And it, dozens. It was, well, more than dozens. He, it was it was thirty. Five with the possibility of a hundred. Yes, oh like my people God. that they didn't find. Dozens. He that went from crazy. like Washington to dozen. Utah yeah. to Colorado to Florida. That's as far as I'm at on the Netflix series right now. Wow. But he just kept moving. Yeah. 
And then people start piecing it together. And the, gr the girlfriend is one of them who called the cops, I believe. There right. were two Netflix series out there right now that I just finished the one and I'm going on to the, to the Ted Bundy yeah. thing. The tapes. The tapes. Yeah, it's right. on Ted Netflix. Tapes. Another, that's another thing completely on, yeah. on Netflix. And that's yeah, a yeah. docu-series. But there right. is a docu-series out, which I think you would definitely love, too. It's called Murder Mountain. Yep. I just saw you tweet about this. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I hadn't even heard it. of it. It's about a certain part of Humboldt County in Northern California where they, I mean, Humboldt County produces 60% yeah. of this country's marijuana and like yes. something uh, along the lines. There's a brand called Humboldt because yeah. of mm -hmm. it. It's very popular. And so uh, it's all about this one section and like these murders and disappearances and a lot of these people go up to the certain these parts of Humboldt where a lot of this black market weed is happening still even though it's legal because the government, which usually happens, is they legalized it but they made it impossible for them to actually make a profit on it because of all these permits right. and tax and all this kind of stuff, right? So the black market... Because you can't uh, interstate. You can't interstate. Yeah, so now the black market went from they thought it was going to go away to now it being even more. Mm -hmm. And so there was these these murders and these disappearances up in Humboldt County oh, yeah, and, yeah. and it's it's so very, many. very entertaining. I mean, not entertaining. It's very, very dark. Intriguing. It's intriguing. It's non it's in an our it's doc, Yeah, it's yeah. a docuseries. And it's in our state, so it's very... I mean, you know... Uh, it, Parts of California. Characters. It's so it's it's the weird because it's it also Humboldt County basically started as this outlaw uh, country where hippies would come and grow weed, yeah, right? Yeah. Like in the sixties, and, and they lived peace and love. Communes, right? Yeah. yeah, and it was all around, and they would they would make money off the weed because that's how they lived, and they would build community centers, and they would and they were you know spreading peace and love and all that stuff, and then all of a sudden. It, the weed culture kind of blew up, and all these people started, in, you know, infiltrating Humboldt County, and it became this wild, wild west right. kind of a situation. Wow. It's crazy. It's, it's a really cool docu series. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. Have you guys also? That's. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on Netflix right now. Yeah. Question, but I wanted to ask you if you don't tell me if you've seen the yeah. spoilers. Okay. The latest episode of True Detective. Yes. yes. Good. Great. Great. Yes, it's really yeah. good. Okay, I think good. it was the strongest. Just one on Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. I'm excited. Uh, it really took off with last week's episode, it did. and then this well, week they did like a switch. Yeah. yeah. I got to start. It's, it's, it's an, I love Mahershali, man. Yeah. He's so good. Me too. Um, can I? Happy birthday. I might have to kick you out of the room for like 15 or 20 minutes. Okay, what you Only got? because I want to try to see if Satin's available because I want to sure. ask him something about Ronda Rousey. I know you want to have nothing to do with sure. it. Sure. Um, do you do you see if he's out there? If not, just come back and I'll wait sure. until he's back. I he's out there. Yeah, if he is. Well, I, you'll hear him. So. Yeah, yeah, I want I, well, I to ask because there's, they, they, I don't know if you Nobody laughed at my joke. He's so loud. I know. Well, yes, he is loud. Okay. Um, and we're going to hear it in a second if he comes in. But did you hear the stuff going on with Ronda Rousey mm -hmm. again? Because last time we talked about it, people were blowing up when we did the clips. And um, Ronda Rousey, who was arguably one of the most popular right. fighters and, and then became a very popular wrestler. And then she got booed at that one event I talked about. And then uh -huh. it seemed to go away. She got destroyed with booze again last night. And it's like, why do people hate Ronda Rousey? Like, huh. like it's. But I thought you said that you watched her and, and Tosh Banks and. I watched the match. Yeah. That, that it happened last night. Is that him? Oh. Yep. Hey, here. Come on in, brother. So Ryan Satin from Pro Wrestling Sheet, uh, powered by Collider, obviously. You should check out the site, prowrestlingsheet.com, as well as uh, you can go to the YouTube channel. We post clips on the podcast channel. But, um, dude, I was talking, I was, I didn't, I didn't kind of spring it on, just sprung it on you to come in, but we, you and I were talking about it before. Um, I mean, we talked about it last time when Ronda Rousey was, well, I don't forget what, uh, SummerSlam? Whatever it was, like right after she came, and she was getting booed pretty bad at the Raw. It was, when, when I we think went, it was SummerSlam, yeah. Okay, when we went to go to, right. no, Survivor Series. Series. It was Survivor Series, Series. Yeah, right, yeah. right, right. And she got booed, and then it kind of went away. And then people were on her side again, and it was also because so Becky Lynch, if you guys are not available, uh, are aware <laughs> of if you're not available, but if you're not aware, Becky Lynch has become kind of like the new Stone Cold Steve Austin of the entire, she's like their top star right now. Yeah. Um, she made a big return again recently, and she's back on. She's back on top. Um, but spoiler for everybody, she won the, the Royal Rumble, and now she gets to pick whether or not she, who she's going to fight. So last night on Raw, Ronda comes out. They're going to going to try to do like the Rock versus Stone Cold, and she gets murdered with booze. She what got, happened? She got eviscerated. I honestly. Why do they I, hate her? I haven't. I, I, I don't know. I when think you say they, who are the, the crowd, the fans? You, who do you think it is, though? Who is they? Because a, a few people can make a lot of noise. It's it, honestly last night was the loudest I've ever heard the crowd booing Ronda Rousey. Like before, like like he was saying, there was like her music would hit. There was still big cheers. She'd get on the mic. There'd be a few people. There'd be like a few people, right. you know. 
Last night, she literally, she said the words Becky Lynch and the crowd. It's because they love Becky so they much, They love huh? Becky so much that wow. they just started so loudly booing that she couldn't even finish her sentence. She started stumbling over her words. And she's she getting better at promos lately, too. I mean, she's not the best, but she's getting better. She's much better doing promos and wrestling than she ever was in acting. And she's she. you can tell that she loves it. You can tell that she legit loves wrestling. And when she was, and, and it's not because her matches, she's not lazy in the ring. No. She's not, she doesn't seem to be la a lazy worker. There's no bad complaints about her behind Th that thing that happened when she first entered it seems like the girls respect her now a little bit more um, or maybe a lot more do they yeah I, I, I thought so. I believe so you yeah. know I, I think that the have thing you heard is, anything from what I've seen and from what I learned from Roca yeah. <laughs> is that there's like this large amount of there, there's a large amount of people in the world who just really don't like seeing someone what they perceive as someone being handed something, right. you know, and so like they don't think she's earned the. Title. They don't think she's earned it for some reason, and I, I don't feel that way. So it's hard for me because to, she to didn't see it that way. make her way up in the WWE Correct. because she transferred over because right. she because she, she's everybody. building her star yeah. off of another sport, and, and then they think she's kind of here just to to because she was done in MMA. That's what you think the consensus is from a lot of these fans. That's what I think the people who boo her see. Yeah. It's, I don't believe that to be true, but I think that the people who boo her, right, and I think that it started to go away because she. Be they, Becky Lynch is the most popular thing in wrestling right now. Yeah. I think she's amazing, but yeah. I'm not booing Ronda Rousey. Agree. And I, I think that um, it started to go away because her and uh, Ronda and Becky weren't really interacting as much just on social media and stuff, so right. not everyone sees it. Um, but now that they're going to be going up against each other at WrestleMania... People are clearly picking sides and they've chosen Becky. It, but absolutely. Yeah. I also think that because there's that... Uh, that, that, that idea that, look, it, Ronda's only here to make money. Ronda's here because... Uh, this is another payday to her. She's gonna milk it for all it's worth, and then she's gonna bail on us. And for a while, it was like, well, no, look at look at it's everything like the Alex she's Rodriguez done. complex. Yeah, yeah. and like, look, but then everyone was like, well, no, look what she's done. Look what she's she's been there. She goes on the road. She's doing everything. She doesn't and, do a Brock Lesnar, where Lesnar just shows up for yeah, like, the big events, one here, couple there, here, there, yeah. there. But she's there. She's, she's in there. It. She's, she's in there it. every week. But then a report came out last week, which we were able right. to verify as well that. She does. She has informed WWE that she plans to take time off after WrestleMania. Um, that apparently it was, you know, part of her, um, you know, part of the negotiation process when she signed her deal was that she told them like, "Hey, I might want to start a family one day," and like, this is a three-year contract. And they were like, "Okay, well, if that happens, you can take the time off that you need to handle it. Right. And your contract will be frozen or whatever, you know." Um, and so because it came out that she plans to take time away again. Fans like, oh, she's going to bail on us. I think the, that contingent of crowd is like, see, we were right. right. You guys gave her everything and, and now she's leaving. What's so shitty about that is that why would she want to stay somewhere she's not wanted? I feel the same way about it. I, go, I, I don't understand why we try to shun away people that want to get into wrestling. Right. What you do is you embrace them Both. and then she doesn't want to leave. Because she's not a heel. She's face. Right. It's that whole gatekeeper mentality of wrestling. Like, yeah. I, I, and I hate to say it. I love wrestling. I love wrestling fans. But there are a lot who don't want it to they don't want it to be f fame popular. Like they don't want it to be part of the mainstream. Like they yeah. don't want uh, actors and celebrities and all that kind of they stuff. They want it to be, to be their thing. They want it to be their yeah. counterculture thing that that nobody else. That this is our thing. We're wrestling fans. Stay away, Snooki. Stay away. But I feel like they love when some people come in for one match. But like this is different. Though, but, or yes, something but this like is that. different though. But the, Stephen Amell and Snooki, you know, it's different from. A professional Maria fighter, Menounos. because look, look, dude, Ken Shamrock did it. Like all these other wrestlers, like, there, there are people who. A lot of these guys were real wrestlers. So she was a real mixed martial artist who just happened to be a superstar inside of that, that thing. So it's it's a lot different. She's this isn't like some celebrity, like Dennis Rodman going in there and fighting and, and learning how to do it and, and abusing the sport. She's someone who's trained. She she continues to train. She continues to get better. I don't I don't get and it also to me as I guess as we're doing the, the Shmoda stuff, I get upset. When the crowd, when you're putting together a storyline, right, and you're like, well, this is the this is the heel, this is the face. She hasn't done anything. She hasn't done anything for them to garner those boos. She didn't. She didn't attack like any of the the faces. She, I, it's like it's like I feel the not same way. Along. But that, it's funny. I feel the same exact way. And I watch every week just like you. I watch every show. My girlfriend, she watches most. Every week with me as well. And last night when I, when all the booze were going on and I was reacting yeah. that way, she was like, "Wait, you're telling me Rhonda is supposed to have been a face this whole time?" And I was like, "Yeah, of course she's supposed to have been a face." Yeah. She was like, "No, no, 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 no. Everything I've seen, she's a heel." And I'm like, "No, I don't see that." No. And so I, it's it's murky. It's murky. Yeah, yeah. And, and I do think it plays to it's, WWE it's, right now. It's like WWE problem. It is. In it's general. not a Rhonda problem. It really is a WWE problem in general. I where they're, they're focused on 
gray area characters because they look at it they look at each wrestler as an independent uh, revenue stream right. you know it's like that guy is a revenue stream that person's a revenue stream that woman's a revenue stream and it's like if you make them too bad they're not going to sell as much many toys it's, they're not going to sell as many t-shirts they're not going to yeah. sell as many things I have a problem so with their, they just ever, like everyone being in the middle I just have a problem with their booking in general the things the way that they're doing stuff right now it's because give me the name of the, the, the big federation that's coming out, Cody Rhodes. Uh, all Elite Wrestling. All Elite Wrestling. So, and first of all, did you see that clip of the guy who was wearing that, that shirt? I did. And what, Did you post it on, on the side? No, because no. I had already done another one where they weren't allowing stuff into the building. What but. happened? So, Cody Rhodes, the, the, the late great, is Dusty Rhodes' son, yep. yes? Yep. So, he he's a, he's a big Star Wars fan, too, and Jedi Council fan. He and Chris Jericho, well, Chris Jericho's going to be part of it, but and he's going to correct me for all the stuff I got wrong. But uh, <laughs> but Cody Rhodes is basically starting this new wrestling federation right. with this billionaire. Yeah, right? It's, it's the guy who owns the this. Jacksonville Jaguars, yeah. and he owns Fulham FC, and he uh, his son is part of the organization as well. He's a co-owner of right. all those teams, and he's a huge, huge wrestling fan. Um, yeah, so he's backing a company with Cody Rhodes and the Young Bucks. So what they're going to do, and what they've said they're going to do, I mean, who knows until we get it, but they're going to... See, my biggest problem with the WWE is that they don't... like not, Victories don't really count. Wins and losses don't count. The titles don't really mean anything. If, if, they, if it fits the storyline, they'll just say, okay, so so-and-so, we're going to play for the championship, but they just lost your th- last three matches and Raw. We're going to play. And it doesn't have that sport feel. It's more entertainment than just sports. It used to have a mixture of sports entertainment, mm-hmm. hence sports entertainment. And mm-hmm. it looks like that's what Cody Rhodes wants to do, is going to do. And I hope that that's what they do because that will get me intrigued. And I think the WWE needs a kick in the ass. I think the WWE need, like, they were at their Where best. Where will it be? Uh, would it, like, like TV wise? Yeah. Uh, they haven't announced it yet, but they are very coy on the fact that, like, they have it. It's it's very clear that they have some sort of TV deal. They haven't announced yet. Do you have any for, thoughts? For any guesses? My guess, and this is just a guess based on kind of like some of the reports I've seen out there. Is I think they're going to go with TBS or like TNT or something and like that. And wouldn't that be great? Because that's where WCW used yeah. to be. And there was that's, the raw the Monday Night Wars when WWE was probably at their best because they stiffed competition and they lost inside the ratings war for mm-hmm. a while was during that Turner years. And it would be great to bring that all back again. And WCW was run by, well, one of the head bookers of WCW for a long time was Dusty Rhodes, Cody's dad. So it all kind of like yeah. brings it full circle because really this, cool. this is the first time where another company has kind of made it clear like, hey, we want to be a big deal. Like I, it, there's there's been other companies that are in the wrestling sphere, you know, but this is the first time where someone's well, like, hey, pre- we sold out a yes. whole arena. We can sell out arenas with these people. We're going to keep doing that, and, and we're coming for you. And WWE is threatened because th- there was a video of this kid who was wearing a shirt from from All Elite, and, and they made him take it off. He He's a fan. He was yeah. front row in the crowd and, at yeah, Royal they wouldn't let him. They wouldn't let him or wear it. Was it. Royal Rumble or SmackDown? Did he get kicked out, or he just had to take off the shirt? He had to take off the shirt. And, and do what? So he, I, and I'm torn. Put it under his seat. And put on yeah. what? He had, see, he had a double hit shirt underneath that's it. That's why that video was a You think it was a plant? I, I don't know because, okay, like, I don't want to be conspiracy theory guy here, but, like, it was are, cold. You, are either of you guys wearing a shirt under your shirt right now? No. No, but it's also not that cold in here. True. But it was two t shirts? Yeah. I did. Okay. I. I don't want to, like, be too conspiracy theory here, but, like, the person who shot that video is also the same guy who I did a story on the day of the rally who he got kicked out of a show. He, oh. he wasn't allowed into a show wearing all elite wrestling shirt. Had to go buy so a shirt. So you think he planted shirt. it, maybe? I don't know, but I just I just thought it was interesting, like, of, like, maybe he gave how the he shirt. happened to be the one that yeah. was sitting there. Like, why? I, I don't know. You I don't, don't know. know. But it was. I, I, I also found it a little yeah. weird, the double shirt thing, like, he didn't have to go get another shirt. Right. Like what? What was happening before? I didn't have time to work on it because it was Royal Rumble and there's like a million right. things going on, and I was covering the show. But is, um, is it possible that maybe this guy gave the the kid a shirt to see if he can get away with this? And I, WWE security said, "No, take it off." Because here's the reason why I understand with WWE doing it. I understand it because it's like you're you're basically giving away free advertisement to a potential. I'm not saying that I love it. I'm just saying I understand it. Yeah, yeah. That because if in You're the front, com- competitor, yeah. In the fr- that that's going to be marketing a, a big heavy push and has a lot of money behind it now and they're advertising in your front row. And I agree. So with I you. get it. I, I agree. Was with the you. shirt a white undershirt or no, was it a black? No, black it was it, 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 it was a, it was a billboard. No, 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 no. The undershirt. Oh, oh, the I undershirt. believe it was a blank undershirt, blank okay. black undershirt. But anyway, um, I, I the only thing I'll say to that, and I agree with you. That's yeah. obviously why they do it. Um. It, I think that they they're not thinking of the fact that like punching down like that only makes Ali wrestling look stronger. Agreed. You know, like they because keep it makes it because there's, there's a threat Are you saying now. Ali A L I All Elite Wrestling. All Elite Wrestling. All Elite like Elite Elite Elite, elite. elite. yeah the Elite so A E W yeah A E W yeah so you know I'm, I'm not getting it. 
Well, it's, it's all because, elite. Um, they, all elite. They're they're all elite. Everyone it's involved. Spell the whole name. E L I T E. The, it's all just called A-L-L. elite. All, oh, all elite. space elite. Yes. All elite wrestling. Woof. A- <laughs> <laughs> Not a fan. It's no, 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 no. It's the, just the, that uh, when you guys keep saying it, it, sound, it sounds like I will eat. Yeah. All it's eat. It's AEW, I think, is the, the best. That's what people uh, right? Yeah. Yes. Their wrestling group that has like a popular YouTube channel is called The Elite. When are we getting this, by the way? The actual show? Yeah. I don't know. I th- th- next you week. Strike ne- with the Iron Tom. Next week, there's a rally and there's a there's a pool party in Vegas uh-huh. where they're gonna make some more announcements. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna be at that. Are you going? Yeah, yeah. I'm, awesome. gonna, I'm gonna drive up for that. Um, they got buzz right now, man. Yeah. They got so, real buzz. So I'm interested to see what happens with that. Um, and I agree with you though. I think that change is needed. I, I, absolutely. So I, I like that there's kind of a kick in the ass going on. Also, I, I just posted. You probably didn't see it, um, but Dean Ambrose also in the midst of this. There's all these wrestlers that are. Giving their notice Team or Ambrose saying notice? they don't want to uh, because they're saying, going over to All Elite. Yeah, wow. or asking for their no, not necessarily because they're leaving for All Elite, but I think that the prospect of there being greener pastures is there's, making people there's think another like, game. Hey, there's another game in to town. Yeah, yeah, I don't have to necessarily right. do this. There's it's, another game in town. Yeah, like with paying comparable money, and wow. so yeah, Dean Ambrose apparently over the weekend told WWE that he doesn't plan to resign. They recently offered him a new, I think it was a five year deal. And what, when is it? No, what has it done after WrestleMania? At, wow, interesting. Yeah. Wow, yeah. look at you that. didn't get to the men's rumble, but they're there. Who there's do you some... think they're gonna pull? Wrestler wise yeah. for all elite wrestling? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, Dean Ambrose seems like a good one that's right a big, now. That's a, that's big, a one. big in my opinion, that'd be a big get. He's a former WWE champion. Yeah. Also, um, I know that there's you know, there's talk of AJ Styles being in the midst mm-hmm. of uh contract negotiations as well. So um I don't know if I see what about for any of the women? Any guesses? No one on the WWE. Side, the women right like, now. See, the, here's the difference. None that you would know only because uh, like names that are popular wise. Because right now, the second WWE was like aware that another company was paying comparable money, they started signing up a lot of people. But the other thing with women wrestling, again, correct me if I'm wrong here. What I have seen so far from watching, I find myself fast forwarding less with the women. Like the, and not only because the wrestling itself has been competitive. The storylines and the writing inside of whatever they're doing inside of the women's division, they're doing it right. Like things, mm-hmm. it seems like things matter a little bit more there, and they're and they're making it like they have good stars. They're using them the right way. There's a bigger pool of talent of people that actually work. The mid carters w- work very well for the for the actual main uh, the the headliners, and they're building it up right. It's it's working. So I think that they know that they a lot of these women have opportunities there. The stars anyway, the big stars. Why would Becky Lynch take off? Why would uh, Flair? Because a they're getting huge opportunities. They're getting big right opportunities now. right now, and they are the they're they're basically the, the main attraction. Even though they want to say Brock Lesnar and Seth Rollins are, they're not right now. It's the women. Like people want to. I think Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey should headline WrestleMania. I also think if some of these people who might have asked for their release uh, are, are a little more close with some of the talent that are that are involved in the creation of the company AEW. I'll say that to make it easier. Uh, but I, so I think that some of the women, while close, you know, with the wrestling sphere, I think a lot of them are going to wait to see what happens with television first. I think most talent is going to wait to see what happens with television first. Like if your contract is coming up soon, it makes sense to use it as like a negotiation type yeah. thing. Um, but I think the rest are all going to kind of like, from what I've seen, they're all just kind of watching and wow. waiting and seeing what's going to happen. Well, Ryan, thank you so much for joining us, man. I appreciate it. Once again, go over to wrestling. YouTube.com slash C slash Wrestling Sheet. Yeah. That's where you can find all the recaps that we do. We did a Royal Rumble recap, Raw and SmackDown. We have Wrestling Sheet Radio. We talk about the biggest stories of the week. We'll talk about Dean Ambrose. Uh, we'll talk about this Ronda Rousey booing stuff. Uh, so go, make sure you guys check out that. Also, the podcast channel. It's on Podcast One, iTunes, Spotify, all that kind of stuff. Uh, check out Wrestling Sheet Radio, ProWrestlingSheet.com. Check it out. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Can you fire Makuga back in here, too? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Thank you. Yeah, just I, I was talking to him about it too, and it, was, it took me so long to watch all that stuff. But like, I've found myself more fascinated with like the business aspect of wrestling and the writing and the booking of it now, dealing with Shmonan as much because it's just been so disappointing watching that uh, watching WWE right now. It just has not been good, minus again the women. Hey everybody! What's up, buddy? Hey. How are you? Happy, nice birthday, you. Happy, bir- hey, happy birthday, Josh! Hey. 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 Happy birthday! Happy birthday! We remember. <laughs> you guys are the best. Oh, so so good. Um, getting some nice tweets. Yeah, nice tweets, nice okay. Facebookings and stuff. Yeah, and, and you know, some nice texts and such. And you feeling good about yourself? Yeah, yeah. I mean, birthday's a good day. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's nice to feel some love and stuff. I mean, everybody should spend love with each other. I mean, you know, spend love with each other. You know, spread mm-hmm. love. Hug, spread love with each other. I like be that. Be positive. I Spending think, uh, love is good though too. Yeah, you know, yeah. that yeah. was uh, one thing you got 
the you get all the time and sometimes on the internet maybe it's not all the time yeah uh but you know when it does happen it's nice it does it's yeah. true and it's true it's the yeah. one day where you can just log into facebook or twitter and <laughs> it's not nobody all. yeah yeah right it's pretty good <laughs> you know what i've been doing which i've been a little, having a lot of fun doing mm. and i think that i'm going to do it from now on no that's fun too <laughs> but anytime there's any there's someone as soon that, as there's a fart noise i look to roxy and she's like there was some no. Roxy posted a, her. Uh, Roxy posted a picture, her selfie that she does right before every show yesterday, and she does this whole long thing. And some one fart bag writes back, uh, "Glider sucks." Yeah. So I just, glider's trash. Glider's yeah. trash. Yeah, yeah. I so didn't I, see that. I, I, yeah, I'm I glad it. you. I alerted you. I this, saw it. So cause... I respond. I just responded. As I'm doing for everything now. I responded with the gif of when a goldfish here. Yeah. yeah. Goldfish here. Yeah. When a goldfish here. I responded with that and it's been so much fun. Like I went through the YouTube comments and if someone wrote something negative like some about Aquaman or something like you guys wanted it to fail, didn't you? <laughs> and I and I and I just wrote back when a goldfish here. Yeah. When it, it's so therapeutic. When it, it feels good. Yeah. When a goldfish. I have it's yeah. the only We're on thing different pages these it's days. It's the <laughs> only thing I need to respond to anything. Like I can do it on Twitter, and like if anybody wants to have get into a conversation about like Star Wars and why I didn't like this and this, <laughs> when a goldfish here, yeah. when a goldfish. Uh, oh, yeah. I love it. Thank you. So I never thought that Tom Danino would give me this wonderful gift, but he did. Carl, and then I told him. But I like how many subscribers, by the way. That's the character. How many subscribers do they have, uh, Cody? Because I talked to Tom yesterday, and he said what he's going to do is they're going to release a, a longer trailer, and then if it hits the fifteen hundred, they're going to they're going to release it in like the first or second week of February. <laughs> the episode. Yeah. A longer trailer. Yeah, there's like a, a full, there's like a longer trailer. There's only like a minute and a half the first one. Uh, they're at 1,293 Ooh. subscribers. 1,293. Come on, get them to, get them to 1,500. <laughs> I'm not going to be a part Every of this. Every time When a Goldfish plays, an angel subscribes when a goldfish, to this. Yeah. Yep, there when it is. Goldfish, yeah. I just want to start. Cody, we got to go through that other trailer and pull some other clips. Um, Do just have a whole them? folder of them. You know that it's happening because of you. Like, you're doing this. This is, there's nothing, there's no other driving force behind it no. but Christian Harlow. Yeah. Can I tell you what? <laughs> I wear it like a badge. Sure. I, I can tell, dude. It, I love The fact that you use the winter goldfish here all the time, and here's the worst part, is it's going to start coming back to being the situation of... of Papa Boy? Yeah, where yeah. it's just, it's all the time, uh, I, which I'm, I'm not psyched about. When, listen, but, when, we were, when, we were at the, when we were at the live show... And it was quiet for a second, and someone went, "What a goldfish here!" Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Absolutely, people would win a goldfish T-shirts. Yeah. People would win a goldfish. Somebody had to win a goldfish hat. I love it. It's I like amazing. that you're profiting Yay. off another man, another man's I'm not, but ra I'm racist, not, homophobic, I'm, sexist yeah. fucking video show. But it's, yeah, first, it's first of all, are we doing we going back to this? No, again? I'm this just is, saying. Is it he? What he no. did? He, first of all, do you? How do you feel That's about true. South Park? How do you feel about South Park? <laughs> I'm okay with it. Right. I don't so think I South Park seen, is nearly as offensive as this. Video I is. haven't. I haven't seen the episode yet. I have me not seen have the episode I. yet, so I don't know. But from the trailer alone, it seems to me like an Adult Swim type thing that I've it seen. Is. I've seen. Absolutely. I've seen way worse, and I don't know. I don't know the context of everything too, so I want to see it first. I, I could very well. Episode. Yes, I could very well watch the first episode and go, okay. I'm I, never I, I, saying I, this I don't, again. I don't think so, if you watch the first episode and you're not into it, do we win a goldfish still or no? Yeah. Because it's still it's still a great clip, and, and I, I love the bouncing puppet with the ridiculous blonde hair just moving around <laughs> like a. Hey! It's, it's peanut butter. You know, well, don't you die if you eat that? No, I'm no, not. No, no, it's peanut butter. Real nice. Good job. Wow. I'm so confused. I knew you were here with me. I can't. Oh, look, it says Josh, Josh instead of Jim. It's almost like they got Thank you okay. You. They did. It's even better. All the candles yeah. went out already. Thank you. All the candles went out already. Look. So what happened with the uh, Josh? And so did I you think you... of a wish or did you not? You just blew them out because uh, you panicked. I just blew. Yeah, I blew yeah. them out. I thought you can't do peanut butter. No, you no. can't do nuts. I can't do uh, nuts. I can peanuts are yeah, peanuts no, are almonds. like you. Yep. What? But I eat. Happy birthday, Josh! Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Nice. It's funny. Now, now, see, we spread the word. That this it was your is birthday. the most creative uh, birthday gift I've gotten. Is it open why, or no? So why is it creative? Because no. they put like the little Josh on the thing. Oh, I see. Instead of Jeff, instead of Jeff, and they melted the, the wax candles. And I'm basically allergic to like all. I mean, anytime they somebody gets a cake, there's either chocolate or a right. nut or I like want something. A spoonful. 
Okay. His allergies Thanks. are no joke, man. Yeah. He's my, we have That's why all I eat was pizza this weekend. Because, like, listen, uh, that dinner that everybody was having at that other restaurant looked amazing. Mm. But you I just know it. it like really nice, fancy restaurants. You're going to bite into a nut and then you're going to turn into a Comic-Con situation. Everything. Correct. Dude, yeah. we, were, we were at Comic-Con, two year, not last year, but the year before. Yeah. And we were at that Blade Runner party. And he didn't, it was some kind of taco or something. He ate that. Who puts nuts in a taco? And he ate, and, and he was just like, he started. Macadamia nuts? Yeah. Something. His, his whole throat closed up. And we're yeah. sitting there talking to Michael Giacchino. <laughs> And he's like, he's like, boom, he's like, dude, boom, I gotta go. Boom. My head's about to explode. It's nice to meet you. I love your music. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, That's exactly what he said. And I mean, and, 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 and hey, when you left, G-Kino was like, great, you're amazing. When Thanks, you, man. When you left, he's like, is that guy gonna be alright? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Makes he just plays. He, as so as so you're walking sweet. out, he plays the opening theme to Up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a night. Makuga wasn't having it. I came from the It party and yeah. I had uh, DVDs and he grabbed those and threw them across the bar. He's like, get them the hell out of here. I'm like, you're in a mood. Sounded like that. Stop. Well, it was, I was a like, nice night. We, yeah. a, we, were, we were good. We were fantastic. Drinking. Yeah. It was the opening of Comic Con. Yeah. They stuck my way into that party. It was fantastic. Yeah, and, they, and they nutted you. Are you guys going this year? Yeah, of course. Probably. Probably. Most good likely. Talk. Yeah, it's good talk. Can I, come? I think more people are I think we're more excited about celebration this year for now. Yeah. yeah. Because what is that? March? April. 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 Yeah. So who's going to that? Uh, as of right now, look, it, it's it's up in the air because as of right now, for Star Wars celebration, I'm not to talk about it. no, 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 no. Okay. we're like kind of yeah, we're, yeah we're, there's we're, a lot of different things happening because the the goal is obviously myself and Ken and Riley and Fernandez for the two shows for Rule of Two and for Jedi Council. No, Alice. No, he doesn't really do Star Wars stuff. He'll be there, but he doesn't do Star Wars stuff because the reason Ellis will be there is because we are going to do Schmodowns on Thursday and Saturday is what we're aiming Wild. for. Yeah. So we're going to do one inside the convention and then one on Saturday night. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and then probably on the Friday night, I think we were talking about doing some stand-up shows Friday like Ken and, and I hosting night. and that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, cool. so Friday would all Friday during the day would be Rule of Two. Sunday would be Jedi Council. So it would be like a big, huge weekend, like two times what we did in New York. Yeah. So for like five days in Chicago. So Damn. we're just waiting to lock everything down. But there's... I don't, and I also need to see where the season goes, right? Because um, I know I'm going to. You don't know who's going to be competing. I know the Star Wars championship will be on the line, obviously, right? But the question is, who else on that undercard? And I need to, I need to figure what that are you out. I don't know yet. I got to let the story of the of the season kind of build itself, and then see. Well, wait a minute. This this might be a good undercard because there's something else in April. There's May. I'm looking for for. I think that we're going to change away from New York in May and go to Houston is what I'm looking at. Um, and We've that, also discussed Vegas, which is pretty cool. Discuss that. It's just that's gonna be. A little, it's hard to sell in Vegas, man. Mm-hmm. It's hard to sell in Vegas. There's a lot going on there, and it's close to here, and there's so much. Yeah, there's so much entertainment in Vegas. It's just hard. Um, but then the other one is um, it, going back to New York, and maybe like either June or August, when yeah. we don't, when we're not freezing but our not teeth. Not July. Right. We're sweating them off. No, July's Comic Con. Mm-hmm. July is Comic Con, so we'll probably do one in San Diego. I'll probably put the Inner Geekdom Championship on the line for Hell yeah. mm-hmm. San wow. Diego. So, um, but that's a uh, that's. We're the kind of the plan right now, so you'll be at least one of those things. It just depends on what, yeah. which one. Yeah. Can I come? It's just something. Thanks. Yeah, but there's gonna be a lot of dogs and cats, so maybe you don't come. I'm okay with them in person. Just don't <laughs> no. want me. Can we watch a video? <coughs> right. Happy um, birthday, Josh. Happy Thanks. birthday, Josh. Right now, <laughs> right now it's 11:40. <laughs> mm. So I would like to. Um, Take some phone calls. Yeah. yeah. And we'll do phone calls and we'll also do uh, hashtag Collider Live. Riley will um, yep. w- we'll search Facilitate. it. Facilitate. Yeah, he forgot about it. Do you want to know the other funny yeah. thing with, with the peanut butter is I used to always keep a peanut butter in my desk, you know? Oh, you did? In the old office. And then ants got to him. So oh, I never got those it. ants in that, they were a bunch of pricks. They were ants. awful. Yeah, I'm, but I'm, Wendy I'm always has peanut to. butter in her uh, cabinet. And every now and then if I need like an afternoon pick-me-up, I'll get a plastic spoon and ask Wendy if I can get some peanut butter. That's and what so I want she, right now. That's what I want. Please. So we yeah. we now have the Josh butter. Josh butter. Yeah, so but it's in that cabinet so it's community, right? <laughs> Correct. Yeah, to stay away from my uh, almonds. <laughs> okay, so... You know what, though, real what? quick. So we get on the plane. I'm sitting next to Kalinowski on the way to New York. Okay, right. So we're sitting there chilling. He comes in. Like, I got snacks. And he opens up his bag and it was... Oh man, Starburst, oh, no. all this stuff. And I was like, do not tell Christian you have those snacks. He's like, what? What's, what's up with that? And I was like, you literally, you'll be asleep and you'll wake up and there'll be a little Christian in there. <laughs> like a <Yeah>. squirrel. <laughs> the mask on. I want Starburst. You're hearing yeah. when I go fishing. All right, what's, um, wh- what, do we, what do we have first, Cody? We got a phone call? Not quite. Thank you, buddy. All right, how about uh, tweets? Uh, this this is interesting. Uh, this an, at Andrew uh, writes that, what about the rumor of Star Wars Episode Nine trailer playing at the Super Bowl? I just looked up the rumor. Deadline just said it's not coming. Yeah, I don't think it is. Yeah. Because I, they because of, I, I wanted to say, because we're going yeah. to Celebration. I think that's when they're going to play it. I think that makes the most sense. I, I saw a tweet today that CP3, C-3PO wrapped today. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, I was looking at him. He's a good robot. You know that he, gold guy? He won the best 
It was decent. It was decent. I, it, you said some offensive things. Some things. Okay, we're going to have to put you in the Sarlacc pit. Yeah, you figure it out. He's got a fucking hole. You can see the guy's stomach. It's right in there. Huh? Fix dumb. your fucking foot. Huh? He's a jumpy droid. You guys lost me. I'm, I'm Come on, Rocks. The cat <laughs> videos. Jesus. We've got a phone call. Thank you. Here's Thank you. Go. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Roxy. you're 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 a collider live. Who do we got? Hi, this is Chris Adams. Chris, hey, Chris what's going Adams, on? Adams, legend. Doing, what's up? Doing good. I uh, just wanted to call in because I'm on the Schmodown Facebook page, so I wanted to reach those guys. Nice. Yeah, so what what you got to test for us today? Yeah, I almost got that out. <laughs> you had good work What's on you, the word. Come on, that guy. <laughs> Well, I understood <laughs> what I did wrong. I didn't just throw a bomb in the middle of a bit. <laughs> I we lost you. different opinion. Uh, a different opinion? I hate you sometimes. <laughs> All right, what's next? No, this, we, this he, he, Chris Adams, he wants to ask I'm not going to lie to you. I, I had a one-hitter during the break. All right, what, 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 what do you got? What? No, I'm just hey, guys. I was in the bathroom. Uh, me and my brother are both here. We're part with the uh, Cine Fanatics. Oh, oh, what's up, man? How you doing? I love you guys' reactions. It's awesome. You guys, you guys are in Texas, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we are. We just heard you talking about trying to come to Houston. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, yeah. well, if I can, once we actually, if I get the, A, the main event that I want, uh, B, um, the video where, the announcement of what I can do and where I'm going to have it in Houston, uh, you guys will be pretty happy. And then Booker T knocking me out in the ring. Well, we'll, 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 we'll see. We'll see if we can get Booker. Yeah. We'll, we'll call him. Um, but yeah. So what's up, man? What, what would you like to talk about today? Well, one of the things we wanted to bring up is actually we are looking at making an LA trip in July. Uh, they're doing VidCon up in Anaheim, and one of the things I wanted to ask you is, is if you guys ever considered trying to be a part of that in some capacity. We did VidCon. It's funny that the the Shmodan was actually birthed at. VidCon. Yeah. Um, huh. We were Mark and I left the Schmoes show for that weekend, while, and we and I think Ken and Makuga and those guys hosted it, mm -hmm. and we went to VidCon and we were in the pizzeria. It was during like it was like right after March Madness, yeah. And we started going over ideas to do like a movie trivia thing, sitting down at lunch, and that's kind of how it was birthed. But we went to VidCon that year, and I didn't love it. I just didn't like it. Okay, like, it just it was it. We didn't. We felt very out of place there. It was just like the, it was. It's, Why do you think? It's for like the eighteen to like twenty-one year old YouTube channels that are really popping over there too. And you just feel you just feel very. Yeah. I just didn't. I didn't love it. VidCon is more or less for like. You know, I mean, I hate, it's kind of like for like. Uh, like Christian said, that kind of a thing. But I'm, I'm trying to think of what's uh, like Miranda sings and those kind of. It's for, it's, oh, I found out what that was because of her uh, comedians and cars. Oh yeah, there yeah. you go. So are you? What are you? So if you guys are going there for VidCon, what what channels are you hoping to, to see there? Because I'm curious about like the the layout. Because if you, because these guys are these guys are pretty hardcore fans of, like the Schmodown and they're, they're 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 movie fans like Chris us. and what? Well, Chris and Robert. The, so Robert. So yeah, we have we have our movie channel, the Cine Fanatics, where we do like the reactions to the Schmodown and whatnot. Uh, we also have our own individual uh, vlogging channel. So oh, we're going there just for information about how right. to be a YouTuber. Okay. Essentially. See, that's another story, and that yeah. uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense because what I will say when I went there, I, I, there, I met a lot of people that I still keep in contact with, right? Like, for example, CinemaSins, like Jeremy over at CinemaSins, uh, mm -hmm. he and I became pals over there because of the interaction that we had, and we mm -hmm. formed a relationship. I like and, that, CinemaSins. Yeah, that's and cool. and so that that's where a lot of that stuff happened. Um, um, so it's smart if you're starting out to go there and meet people. That that's as far as just going there for our particular fan base. I just don't think that they're there. Um, well, cool, man. Thank you for we the phone there. call. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, we went there last year, and they, there was just a lot of invaluable information that we learned on being YouTubers and filming and stuff. So yeah, just wondering if there's a way for you guys to connect there and grow, but yeah, it is definitely almost a different, completely different atmosphere than maybe what you guys are looking for. Aspect, well, what you guys are talking about makes a lot of sense. I don't I don't know, man. I mean, it's, it's it, you know, perhaps I shouldn't rule it out and I should look more into it, but thank you very much for the call, guys. Appreciate it. Respect the boys. for you guys. Keep up the good work. That. Keep yeah. producing. Yeah. 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 Um, it's awesome. You know, it's, it's, it's a good point. It's as far as the, the marketing <clears throat> aspect of it and meeting people and networking. Um, Maybe looking at it that way as opposed to trying to just connect with the the fan base. That's what we were going there for too. I right. really didn't really know because we were doing like contests and stuff, and like they, they, we were with I forget who we were with at the time. Might have been full screen actually with the MCN at the time, mm. and they were they had us do like we were hosting like a movie trivia thing, and I was, I was like I don't want it. It was movie trivia, it was something else, but I didn't want to do it. I don't like, want. 
It was. It was. I was walking around. <laughs> I just, do it. Yeah, it's, I would much rather just. I guess meet more people. Sure. There. I don't know. Sure. Something to think. I mean, about. there's like a whole makeup tutorial section. There's a whole, you know, the music people section. Yeah. There's, a, you know, all that kind of stuff. Probably like, an I, ASMR section. Yeah. I mean, I know my buddy Mike Falzone goes down all the mm. time. He's and the best. He's I awesome. love him. Mike Falzone's incredible, but you know, he's. He does some of the music stuff. He does stand up. He's he's really in that community of people that when they go to VidCon, there there is a huge section like a cross section of people. And he's been going for so long that it like it makes sense. I went to the first VidCon, right? Oh, it you was did? At, yeah, it was at the your backyard, the hotel right across yeah. the street from CAA, in like right here in Delaware. Oh, wow. What, what, what year are you talking? Two thousand nine. Wow. No, it's uh, earlier than it that. It may no? have been yeah. two thousand. No, I was I was actually being serious. Yeah. But was I th- was it nine? No, no, it was two thousand nine. Yeah, because mm-hmm. Casual Mafia la- launched two thousand nine. Yeah, why did you guys stop that? Why did yeah. you stop it? I mean, we just there were so many of us, and it was getting really expensive to keep producing mm. so many different sketches. Do you know what I mean? And a lot of the Casual Mafia people just kind of left entertainment. To be honest with uh, you, put they the just... douchebag anthem on. <laughs> No, I want to be in the casual mafia. Have you ever heard the juice bag? Yeah, it's okay. amazing. I wanted to turn the casual mafia into like a T-shirt brand because it, yeah. it does lend it itself does to that name. Um, you can't do it. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, and so on. the casual mafia yeah, got invited to that first VidCon, and we did a couple like different things there, and then the casual mafia kind of just dissolved, yeah. and then you know whatever. Had I been like doing the Josh McCuga show or something of That's that it. nature from the beginning, then I would have been able to do stuff at VidCon, I think. But yeah, you know. Here, here comes a young, fresh-faced Josh McCuga mm-hmm. behind the sofa. Yeah, there. So this is 2009. I yeah. think I found this on this show. Did you really? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes we get comments yeah. on the channel. Got my truck hat. <laughs> you. Got my bitch and wristband. Extra yes. Crush the Red Bull. My self tanner's on. And my last bottle. And you just got to L.A. at this point? Yeah. Yeah. Wink a lot. That's the director. And keep a spot. Got my cell phone. That's in like Venice, right by Hanan. Oh, yeah. That's who actually did, who did the music? Uh, me and my buddy Brian, uh, who directed it. Okay. Uh, Brian actually just got a documentary into South by Southwest. He lives in Nashville now. Okay. Um, you look so different and yeah. juicy. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. 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 Looks like Adam Wright. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, we used to get there. Trouble tattoo around my sack, sunglasses inside. That's at the old um, uh, Red Rock on oh, Sunset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is now like I forget what's the called. cat in the le- uh, yellow shirt I met. I've Ricardo. Met him. Yeah, Ricardo Martinez. Before. He's a good yeah. dude. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but like all those people. Who, really, ed- who edited this? Rio? My buddy Brian. Uh, yeah. Who directed it? That's <laughs> your boy. Well, a lot of references, old two thousand nine references. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, well, shit. I feel like I'm going back in time. Yeah. Two thousand. Yeah. This is like 10 years ago. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Put weed in a jar. <laughs> yeah. And you wrote it? Yeah. Yeah. This is so brilliant. You need to do one of these for like Claire Live. Sure. Not well, live for uh, What did we quick. talk about yeah. doing? Yeah. Josh, what did we talk right, about doing when this came out? The uh, female version of this. What were we talking about? We were thinking about doing like a goosh bag. N- like no, the girl douchebag. No, I think it was called something. like basic bitches. Yeah, right? basic bitches. Oh, or basic. Something. Yeah. yeah. Just call it basic. Yeah. Yeah. Um. All right. Listen. Let's do one more we phone call. We should do it. Yeah. Let's Guess do one more call and then we'll get out of here. We got another phone call. On All right. Line. Hey, you're at Collider Live. Who do we got? What's up, Christian? It's Mika Rigoli from Pennsylvania. How are What's you? What's up, buddy? How are you doing? How do you get in so much? <laughs> only because you have like some kind of trick. Because I can't tell yeah, you how many so people. Yeah, so many people tweet at me. I couldn't do it. It was full. It was full. Every day, like people, because like, so many people that were at the show in New York um, didn't have a chance to call. They've been trying to call in. They couldn't. I think this is like the eighth time Nico's made it on the air. <laughs> Maybe I, a little more. He was now. Nico was Please. in. The, yeah, Nico. Nico was at the uh, show. Did you, uh, did you enjoy yourself? Oh, you better believe I enjoyed myself. By the way, very happy I could help out John Mariano and his family with their ticket situation so yeah. they could give Josh McCuga those nice signs. That's happy awesome. birthday, McCuga. Thanks, oh, thanks for man. the $50 donation. You got it, man. Did you uh, make your goal? Uh, we're, we're very, very close. Good. Right now What's we're happening? at $5,902. Okay. So $98 away from my goal. Thank you so much for nice. helping me get that much closer. When you got, Nico called in about the, a couple of weeks ago about the charity when he's he challenged oh, donate yeah, yeah, to yeah. a charity that I, I was a part of all through yeah. college. That's so cool. Well, yeah. cool, man. So, um, what's up? What do you got for us today? 
Uh, nothing really other than I just wanted to thank you guys for an amazing weekend. And I'm letting you know that I might not be in Chicago, but I know my fellow multiplex entertainment guys are going to be in Chicago. They're going to, uh, they're going to have uh, some fun that week as well. And, uh, you know, hopefully I can, uh, be there too, because, uh, you know, I, uh, when I was, uh, with you guys for the June live event last year, I, I got to have dinner with, uh, Alex and Molly Damon afterwards. And it's still one of the highlights of my life getting to have dinner with those two and Joseph cool. Scrimshaw and Brian Ward and then getting to enjoy myself with you guys this past week. So, like, the, I, I want to be uh, going to more of these Schmodown live events because uh, you guys are just a bunch of great people and uh, you're making my weeks, you're making my months, you're making my years. Well, you thank you, Nico. Thank I appreciate you. it very much. Very, very nice, nice phone call. It was a pleasure to see you again, my man, and um, and congrats on, on the charity and the, the, as you get closer and closer to that goal. Um, and you should check out, by the way, everybody, thank you again for the call, Nico. You should check out Nico's on the Movie Trivia Show on Facebook page. Yeah, you yeah, guys yeah. go over there. Go there, join there today. Almost at uh, 18,000, so head on over there. But awesome. um, let's. I would like to do one more call before we get out of here, too. So I'd like to talk to any of the Clatter Live people, some new people maybe to hopefully try to get through the lines because, like I said, it, it's always nice to hear from the regular people. People. We can continue to do that, but I want some other people to have he some He does have that magic dialing He's got the finger, touch. apparently. He's got the boom, boom, boom. He's able to do He's it. He's got the finger. Do you got anybody else? You got the uh, I got one more. I'm right. not sure if they called in before, but we got him. We got a shot. All right. Hey, you are in Collider Live. Who do we got? Hello. Hey, this is Alex from Indianapolis. Hey, Alex. What's going on? What do you uh, What do you got for us today? Uh, well, um, Christian, I don't know if you remember, but a few months back, I uh, sent you a message on Facebook. Uh just thanking you and everybody else there for everything you do and how uh, it's helped me and my wife a lot through her cancer treatment. So oh, I hope man. that rings a bell. I do remember. How, and how, how, is she, how is she doing? Yeah. Well, that's actually, actually why I wanted to call and give you a little bit of an update. We actually recently got the news that she is in remission now and is cancer free. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Congratulations. Very, very good to hear, my man. I, I, I love it. I do remember very much. So um, I am. Always thrilled when I hear that uh, anything that that we do can bring a smile to, to anyone's face, and the fact that 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 was able to do that with you and your wife, and I'm so happy to hear about uh, the remission. So um, thank you so much. Did you get a chance? Uh, did you guys watch the the show over the over the weekend? Did you get hopefully got some laughs out of it? Of course, we watched it live. We watched it on the stream. Uh, nice. We're going to do our best to make it to uh, your shows at Celebration. Uh, it's actually during my uh, daughter's birthday, so we're taking her to Star Wars Celebration. Hell nice, yeah, dude. Awesome. I love it. I'm loving it. Yeah. Very cool. We'll, we'll make sure if you guys get there, you come by and say hello. Um, and if we ever do the crackers in Indianapolis or something there, drinks are on us. Right. Look, mm -hmm. fantastic, fantastic news. Happy to hear it. Thank you. I'm glad you were able to call in, my man, and uh, and nothing but the best for you and your family. Um, all right. I really no Thank problem. You. Thank no you. problem. Congrats. So, all right, that's let's. Uh, that's awesome. Awesome. A really cool story. What a fun story. What a, that's I mean, that's the, a way to take us out. Yeah. yeah. That's when awesome. you get that phone call, there's nothing like that. Oh like, man. Oh. Yeah. It's so and it's that's so, awesome. It's amazing. Okay. Good. So and we have a kid. Oh. All right. And we're gonna leave. We're gonna just kind of skip out of the out of the room now. <laughs> it's good news. Thank you guys. Beautiful. Collider Live. What a show today. I'd like to thank uh, Roxy and and Riley and Makuga, Ryan Satin, uh, everybody who and oh yeah, Cody. Cody was fun. Oh, yeah. uh, Cody. <laughs> Cody Hall. Make sure that you subscribe to Collider. Go on over right now. Hit that subscribe button. Go on over to our Apple Podcast, Spotify. Get all of our shows. We got a lot of stuff for you guys to listen to. I don't want to hear about, oh, I took a long drive and nothing to listen to. Bullshit. Collider's got it for you. See you tomorrow.